What's up, everybody? Just chilling today. I'm waiting for Ghost of Shusimo, whatever the fuck it's called, to download. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to build some diorama pieces. I am making a bad cave setup. So, if anybody's wondering what it is, um, that's what it is. It's a bad cave setup. Uh, basically, just like the grading scaffolding that he's going to be uh, sitting on. I made a a bat computer and everything like that. I'm going to uh, shoot some stuff with the, the Mezco Batman. I got him in the mouth not too long ago. And I have a, a Batman, a Robin, and I made a, a custom night, uh, a custom Red Hood. So they're all, I'm going to do a Batcave shoot. And I got the Batmobile and shit like that. So uh, right now I'm just... Um, a mod podging, um, uh, mod podging it so, so I can waterproof it and get ready to paint. Cause uh, this is a uh, foam board, so it's just uh, styrofoam. So if you hit it with spray paint, this fucking spray paint will eat it up and it'll fucking crumble underneath all the paper. So I just got to get it really good. And uh, plus, I got to you know get the wood grain off of this because it's got to look like metal. Uh, it's got to look like metal racking instead of wood, obviously. I'm going to hang chains and shit from it. I got a bunch of stuff already saved for it. But this is pretty much it. I mean, this wood sucks, by the way. This wood just literally soaks up the fucking Mod Pods. So you got to like let it dry and then hit it again. I'm doing the legs first because the, the wood is going to soak all this shit up. The styrofoam seems to be doing pretty good. I'm going to just hit the edge. Uh, this is uh, that plastic uh, sewing shit you get at Michael's. Those patterns and shit. There's that plastic netting at, at Michael's for like fucking, that's like a dollar a piece. It's also going to be used for like other, other shoots. Anything warehouse related. Anything uh, sewer related. The... Uh, this is the most annoying part, is, is the painting. The fucking tedious. It's like so fucking tedious. But the more, the, like, the more work you put in, the better the, the result's gonna be, right, I guess. So. I'm just waiting for, um... Ghost of, uh, actually I'm waiting for Brandon to come on, and then we're going to do a multi-stream of Ghost of, of, uh, Tsushima. But right now I figure I might as well just can, just get the party started, get some work done while I'm chilling here waiting. I am currently not in Discord, but if anybody is on and wants to chat with me in Discord, just let me know. I will jump in. I don't see the Facebook messages, but I am live on Facebook, so if anybody's joining me on Facebook Live, thanks for hanging out. Uh, I can see you on YouTube, so if you come on YouTube and comment on YouTube, I can see the comments on YouTube. I don't want to have too many fucking things going. I don't want to have Facebook open as well, because that's going to fuck up the bandwidth and shit. So... I was going to print these things, I was going to have my friend 3D print them, but then I remembered I had all this shit still, I started making this shit, like fucking, months ago, and then the pandemic happened and I had to stop because of fucking, just you know, uncertainty with, with money and shit like that, but uh, unfortunately, like, unfortunately I got back to uh, normal, <clears throat> so I said fuck it, let me uh, Cause this has been one of my like grail shoots. I wanted to do a bad cave for fucking years. And I haven't. So it's one of those things where it's like uh It's a project that I wanna fucking finish. I wanna I wanna get it done. There's still some shit I gotta do. I tried to keep it as neat as possible using hot glue, but hot glue didn't really hold all that well. The frame is that balsa wood from Michael's or uh, Hobby Lobby. 
I think I got it at Hobby Lobby. Hobby, my Hobby Lobby, where I am, is, is much better than Michael's in terms of, like, balsa wood and, and just crafts in general. Michael's up here is kind of lackluster. But uh, ho ho Hobby Lobby always comes in for the win. You need fucking balsa wood, you need anything. Hobby Lobby always seems to have it. I have a bunch, I have three of these racks that I made, and then a bat computer and a bat chair, and uh, a closet for all his fucking gadgets and shit. I, I'm currently working on a, on a, like a bat suit chamber that's going to have like multiple suits in it. I have the hell bat armor, as well as the space suit that, uh, I think it was DC Icons, I think it was DC Icons came out with it. And it's like the suit that has the half body and shit like that. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I got that too. It was on sale on eBay. I grabbed that shit. But it was all like in preparation for this Batcave shit. And then I fucking, I, I shelved the project because of, uh, you know, because of what was fucking going on in the world and shit. I just used the cap. Just pour a little bit. I go, I go very slowly with this shit because I don't want to glob it on. I watered it down too, and added a uh, uh, gray acrylic paint, so it has already has color. Because you know, obviously, if, you know, Mod Podge it dries uh, transparent, <laughs> dries clear. So I added gray on one, and then on this bottle over here, it's black paint. <clears throat> so I think the computers and the chair and everything is going to be black, and I'm going to make these gray. Because I want to be able to add a little bit of uh, uh, metallic sheen to it. Because I got some metallic paints. So I'm going to make it look like metal. And I'm going to paint it black. And give it a black black uh, black wash. Which then is going to make it look you know old. And like the metal's coming through and shit like that. Or the other metal shine through the black paint. It's one thing I learned about fucking uh, weathering things. It always hides mistakes. Put this here. So I can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> Just want to get this shit done. I've been wanting to finish this for so long. I bought that Justice League Batmobile too. So I figured I got the Justice League Batman. But, um, I've been a very big fan of the Mesco figures. I don't know how everybody else feels. What I've been, been fucking grabbing lately is those Mesco's bitches. Like I said, man, if anybody's joining me on Facebook, I can't see the comments or anything, so thanks for hanging out. But if you come on YouTube, I can see them. Please join me on YouTube. Facebook is just to get you to cry, uh, to, cry to come to YouTube so you can subscribe. I'm just being honest. I'm not going to fucking hide my intentions, you know? I want to get this first coat on this styrofoam in here so I can really fucking saturate it with the second one. Tomorrow I'm going to get more Mod Podge. Because this is definitely not going to be enough to, to paint everything. I'm, I'm gonna, I was going to spray paint shit, but I figure um, I got to Mod Podge it first. Uh, the computer shit, I might just fucking uh, tape off and just fucking uh, uh, plastic dip because I have a ton of that shit in the garage still from the old cosplay days. I don't know how good it is though. I gotta see. Uh, just getting this thing all nice and. Now, in terms of the uh, for the railings, I used uh, the builder straw gimmicks. I got those bitches, and I got a ton of those when they were on fucking. They were on on Amazon on sale. 
so I grab it a ton. Pretty much. <clears throat> I know. It's a ton of fun, right? Oodles of fun watching me do this. But this is what you do on a Tuesday night when you got nothing else to do. Just fell. My oil pen. My oil pen fell. We're just a couple of oil men. I would put on a podcast, but fucking I don't want to get in trouble. I was listening to your mom's house before. That Tom Segura, he's a funny guy. That Tom Segura. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the uh, the, the support, man, and the love. Just trying to get this shit done. The problem with it is like the 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 balsa wood or whatever this is, the dowel stick wood is literally just soaking this shit up like a sponge. You know. So I gotta get enough on it, so that when it, it'll, the, the first coat will dry, and the second coat will just cover everything up nicely. Like with a French toast. I got a headset on, I should just use a regular microphone, but I'm not. In the process of uh, getting a new one, so till then you gotta. It's like I'm uh, calling a football game. I'm calling a baseball game. Which uh, thank God baseball's coming back this week. If anybody's a baseball fan, MLB starts on Thursday. And then uh, next week, uh, NBA and hockey. Hockey comes back. So that's going to be good. Yeah, so I think I decided that I'm going to um, Plasti Dip. The uh, computer if I can, but I might not be able to because looking at it I can see there's some that's on the floor there's some parts that are exposed some of this foam board I used foam board to make everything because it was on fucking it was at the doll store so I figured fuck it grab that shit for 99 cents I don't know if you want me to switch the camera views. Maybe I'll switch the camera views for you guys. I don't want to. Uh... Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll do that. Hold on. Essentially, that's what it looks like. I'll brighten up these lights so you can see. You can go much brighter. There you go. This way it's nice and bright. I'll just keep it on this because now my face is all whited out. <laughs> so this is pretty much what I'm making right here. And actually, there's a huge help because now I can see all the spots that I missed. Jesus Christ. I thought I was done. I wasn't. See, I'm trying to get it in this crevice because it's fucking... Every time you spray paint that, if you spray paint, I'm not spray painting this. But if you do and any fucking aerosol hits this shit, it eats it up like fucking, like acid. So ironically, is the chemical reaction that happens. It eats it up. It's acidic. 
a goddamn aerosol. I mean, I think they have aerosol that doesn't melt foam. I forgot which ones do don't. So I know it looks like shit now, but once you start to get the layers, as long as I get all the fucking acrylics on this motherfucker. As you, like I said, as you can see, the shit is just soaking it up, man. It is soaking it up. I should have flipped it upside down, so I should have done. There we go. I think that's what I'm gonna do with the next one. I'm gonna start upside down. Get all the wood done first. And then I'll cover this shit. This, uh, this annoying part. So some of this shit didn't even like didn't even take to the fucking wood it's a cr crazy I guess it's a good thing though it means that it's gonna be fucking saturated with this shit as waterproof as possible too because I'm going to add a lot of effects I've become a big fan of practical effects lately I don't know why I uh I'm enjoying adding um like actual fire and smoke and shit I know a lot of the the articulating comic book art community does a lot of the effects themselves like the, the smoke effect with cotton and shit like that and by all means I'm not telling you not to but there's just something to be said about real effects. So maybe it's because I'm more of a filmmaker, or I enjoy filmmaking more than photography. Although I understand photography is you know, just a still frame, so it doesn't have to be. But, I don't know. I blame Sir Dork. That guy's fucking channel was awesome. And I love the fact that he was using actual fireworks. So, I blame you, buddy. Good buddy. Good brother. I blame you, good brother. <laughs> But it inspired me, man. Oh, God damn it. I can't lean on this. Seen a lot of what I missed. Hope you like this uh, music I'm listening to. It's just that fucking 80s synth shit on YouTube. I like music that sounds like I'm playing a video game. <laughs> you gotta see if that is a uh, false finish going live on Twitch. If so, I'm gonna cut this a little short. I don't think anybody wants to watch paint dry, right? So, uh, jump into the samurai world of Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, 
Yeah, it is. Alright, so I'm gonna go. Twitch. So if you guys want, I can uh, can jump in there with him. You can go live there with that. If you guys want to watch some Ghost of Tsushima while I load up. You know, I can play a little uh, of his gameplay while he goes live, and then I can continue my. My uh, enjoyable painting here. And now it's starting to finally stick to the goddamn wood. The wood isn't, um, soaking in all the fucking, all the Mod Podge. Music is so exhilarating. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna race against time. A time travel movie. Right? Am I crazy? Am I crazy in thinking this? Court in a second. And we'll be joined by Brandino. The false finished podcast. If so, like I said, maybe I'll sh most likely share his gameplay so that I can then minimize this and you're not just watching me paint something. Lord knows, don't want to bore you guys. Unless you're enjoying this exhilarating, <laughs> this exhilarating job that I'm doing, I don't think you are though. middle guy I'm not really worried about because you just hit that with paint because he's just like the, the middle bit the middle gauge bar whatever the support beam <sighs> but I do gotta hit the foam on the edge the fucking styrofoam or whatever I have to you have to get that waterproof because like I said I'm, I might spray paint it most like because it's just gonna be easier but let me see something real quick. Whoopsie. Let me jump into Discord. Let's see if anybody's in Discord. Let's chat. Let's chat with some motherfuckers. What do you say? Hello? Are you there? 
He's there. We yeah, can't hear Hi. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. How are, How are you? you? How are you, bud? I'm okay. You know. And then I Brandon's why on the I, podcast. I couldn't I'm just kidding. go. I was wondering why I couldn't hear. Uh, I was wondering why I couldn't go live on Facebook. Oh, yeah, I was, I'm, I'm already live, bud. <laughs> yeah, that was 15 minutes before that. I thought, actually, originally, I thought it might have been, uh, fucking the thing. The, uh, the Streamlabs. Uh -huh. I just made them push the multi-stream to behind the prime paywall. Uh, okay. Which, uh, kind of would suck for the offline, the remote production of Spot Monkey Radio. Is... Or at least my doing it. Thereof. I just uh, share Brandon playing Ghost of Shishima and uh, me doing my stuff. Hmm. Alright, uh, controller. That's a, good, that's a good thing to have to play games with, right? Yeah, you can't need that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I found all this bat cave shit in my fucking garage. And I wanted to, I remembered I wanted to shoot with it. No, you have the whole bat cave shit set up in the garage. Well, no, I found it. I forgot I had it in boxes. <laughs> it was cleaning. The that's where I got back from the doctor today. So and I found it, and I was like, you know what? I want to fucking shoot this thing. I, I fucking made it for a reason. Like with the French toast. All right, where was I? You son of a biscuit-eating bulldog. Who are you calling Cootie Queen, you lint liquor? You lint liquor. It's a, a very underrated Geico commercial. Geico always makes underrated commercials, I feel. I feel, you know, if you had to pick a funny commercial, it's always Geico. Everybody always says, oh, most Geico commercials are funny. So easy, a caveman can do it. It's funny because a caveman is stupid. That's what they say. They say so I found out this armor that I currently have on is the best armor you could have at the early stages of the game. Oh, is it? Is it the hero of Yusima? So uh, I'm gonna rock with this until I find something that's definitely 100% stronger. Take my strong go. hand. I haven't started playing it yet. So, all right, well, that's fine. Um, yeah. When you do start playing it, do the... You have to do the one, the, you have to help the woman that helps you at first. Okay. After you do that, and it lets you go on its own, Yeah. do the two, do the Lady Masako one, because that's how you get this armor that I have, and this armor's... Pretty badass. Uh, you get an armor, and then I think you get a charm that I think... Uh, you every yeah, if you, you uh, if you bought the deluxe version, you got that all for free. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, because I was gonna buy the deluxe version for ten dollars extra, but then like I only buy deluxe versions if it's um something worth. Well, yeah, like down downloadable shit, or if it's like gonna have like like future, like. The deluxe versions are only great if you're you're prepaying for future DLC. Yes, yes, absolutely. Where you're I, getting something in-game item exclusive that you can only get. Via pre-order, that's just going to be ridiculously overpowerful for the first couple levels of the game. Yeah. Well, the um, the Ultra Deluxe gave you, um, it gave you one point, you could, one like technique point. Talent point. Yeah. Yeah, you could use that charm that you just said, that armor that mm -hmm. you're wearing, that exact armor, and uh, right. that's it in a digital art book. So there was like no, like a. a uh, season, yeah, like season pass or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, I don't think this is gonna be. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't think that's gonna be one of those games. So I think Ming is gonna I, be uh, very disappointed. <laughs> he's gonna be sadly disappointed. Yeah, because he said it in the chat room before. I hope they have DLC for that, and I was didn't want to tell him like ah, uh, but yeah. you might get maybe like a little extra campaign. Or something like may that. possibly, maybe. I don't even know that's if he'll get that because I think that this is the type of game where they'll just make a second one before they do that. You know. You won't be a ghost no more. You'll Johnson be the spirit, the spirit of, of oh, sushi. I miss my cue. All right, so this is pretty much done. I gotta let it like just kind of like sit now. 
but I'm just trying to get any spot that I might have missed, which I missed a lot of. Oh. Now, do this one, and then I'm going to do a lot of that one's Which one is more the headings? You wish there was what? More beheadings? This paintbrush sucks. I can't tell it's good, I don't know. I gotta glue it in. I didn't glue the paintbrush, I gotta glue the paintbrush. Fuck his whole horse up. Right. Oh, there's still another one? Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the wood. It's spray paint. Not cause... Not long, kid, sir. No, I'm surprised um, by the amount of people that I didn't know it's smoking cigarettes. Anyone who's smoking cigarettes and just the amount of times that people got drunk in the middle of the day. Yeah, was that just a thing that people did in the 50s? Yeah. <laughs> Wonder. They, they didn't have the internet. They had to do something. <laughs> the internet, so I... Had to do something. What you doing at first today? Yeah, we had a, a safe filled with liquor and they tell me about like anything to do. That's, uh, that's incredible. <laughs> Surprise guest appearance by my dad on stream, technically. Uh -huh. It was the 50s. You smacked your girl on the ass and had a fucking gin and tonic. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, that was, that was it. That was just you smacked thing. her on the ass. You said, great job, toots. Now get out and get me a drink. And you went home and fucked your wife. If you were lucky. Yeah. Most times they had a piping hot meal waiting for you when you got there. Other times you had to beat them. Beat yeah, them with a sack of A nice hot dinner waiting for you at home. Yeah. <laughs> and if I, I was say one thing, what? the the divine wind is a lot easier to discern in the regular game mode than the. Uh, oh, in the color. Yeah, Curtis Allen mode. Yeah, I have a lot of times. I'm confused as to which direction the wind is pointing me, and when it's all blue and like you know very clearly indicated. Uh, like now, like <laughs> you silly goose. The summer wind came blowing in from across the sea. That's a little Frank Sinatra for all you for all you hip cats and kittens. Another, another thing that I'm getting fucking confused on is it's not the same button to mount. As it is to dismount. It's a different button. Well, that, that, that's going to be annoying. <laughs> a little annoying. Yeah. That, that Don't annoy. have enough clocks. I could see how that would annoy me. How that would be annoying. Start getting more supplies. Get more supplies, bitch. Science, bitch. Alright. I think it's pretty good. See, now it's gray. I don't know if you guys can see Coming, it. Bitch. But it's all gray. It's all gray, but it's a little wet. It's a little wet. Just trying to get any spot that I might have missed. It's a little bit, yeah. Oh, yeah. You dishonored your family. We met many years ago in my master Amato Yoshi. The hitman. You're a hitman now. I was watching somebody who was much farther ahead of this game than I am. They're in Act Two, and I'm like, "Oh, okay. There's a lot of cool shit that I can do." Oh, you like, haven't even gotten there yet, huh? Can you summon the 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 soldiers of the dead, of the ghosts of the Shishima? If you eat enough sushi, do you become overpowered? I mean, it's one of those things you kill enough people, like you go win enough battles. So like I was remember how like when I was first playing, I was trying to avoid 
any conflict possible, yeah. I should have just fought him regardless of the outcome. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. It's oh. like that's how you build up the, the technique points is by winning battles. Oh, really? Yeah, winning. winning. You have to kill, like, all and winning three on one fight. And it's very suddenly just random person NPC by themselves, but. Okay. So a lot of this I've noticed, like, follow this person to go <laughs> to this point. To go to this point. This paintbrush sucks. This is the first paintbrush I grabbed. Because it was perfect size for the amount of coverage I needed to get. But I forgot that it comes off the fucking brush, it comes off the stick. Oh, there you go. It was very... I was watching, uh... Your mom's house or whatever it's called. The two bears uh -huh. in the cave. And, uh, this guy, <laughs> Burke Kreischer goes, Donnell Wilds gave me the greatest advice ever. He says, you don't, you don't want to become a meme. And then Tom Segura, without missing a beat, goes, but he is a meme. He's Ashley Larry. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah. He is, yeah. He is, I mean, that's why he says that. I'm rich, you know, bitch. Uh, from, you know, 20-something, 20, 20 years ago. Um, isn't that crazy? That's how long ago that was? What you working on there, Tony? Uh, just some pieces for like a factory or bat cave. It was like grading that I made. I found it in the garage when I was cleaning today. Searching. A mod podge and all that. Long day. This guy. I'm uh, mod podging it and get ready for paint. are going to be the trailing guys. The trailing guys? I see what I see what her missions are going to be. Oh. I freaking hate carving bricks, bro. Yeah, oh, they're the worst. I just finished doing two like stone columns. Yeah. And stuff. The and absolute worst. Simple large bricks and stuff, but I wanted them to have the wider gap. Mm -hmm. You know, more of a curve to them instead of that that thin. So I really went in and actually, like, carved out the, the bricks and yeah. shit. I don't want to do that again. That's why sometimes I just feel like it's easier to just make an actual stone wall. <laughs> For all the carving and shit, you might as well just build that. I know it's going to be heavy and shit, but fuck, it's real. You can't beat it. up for me, Tony. I think it's my connection. It might be. Yeah. Good doing. Can you hear me fine burning it? Yeah, I can hear you. You're, you cut it out a little bit, but... Uh, that was cause I, maybe because I turned away from the computer. Maybe. Might be. Alright, so that's done. You're in, you're also in the, the, probably that's part of your house where the, the Wi-Fi is not the best. Uh, yeah, and I'm on the, the laptop with the Discord. Mm -hmm. Which is the only thing that's Wi-Fi right now, so... But it, it also has that fucking glitch. I'm taking the computer to the Apple Store on Friday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I gotta get it fixed, dude. It keeps cutting out. I mean, whenever I plug in the USB. I plug in the USB, and then fucking, I don't... This is the big one I made. This is where the back computer is gonna go on to. Everybody's wondering. Oh, yeah, was there, but barely. It's gonna go on to this bed. Drop the mic, drop the mic, drop the mic. Yo, turn my mic up, turn my mic up. Yo, hit that, hit that, Fuck. take that, take that, take that. Take that. I, th I told you that we won't stop. <laughs> 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 
Take that, take that, take that. I wasn't paying attention. As you can see, it's a little shun god if you look at it from the screen. everybody come through on stream, I appreciate it. You want me to play Ghost of Tsushima? Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of uh, uh, Sushimi. Ghost of Sashimis. Sushis and Sushimis. There we go. Kaboosh. Oh, fucking good now. I'm just gonna keep hitting the sides here because I gotta get this shit loaded in. This has to fill in with Mad Patch. So that. I can just spray paint it. Well, I'm probably not going to spray paint this shit, but I just want to... I don't want it to look foam. I don't want it to look like uh, foam, so... If they do that, I might not get mad. Do what? They're going to... They said... EA Sports said they're going to debrand the Redskins. Like, they're going to remove all... Because they said they're rebranding the team, they... EA Sports is going to say, alright, well, since you're going to rebrand it, we're going to take out all your current branding and replace it with just generic And stuff you're not until... going to get mad because of that? I, I might not, yeah. That'll, that'll, that'll remove the, take away from the experience from me. Are you, do you think it, that they it, should change the Redskin name, or do you think they should keep the Redskin they name? They should. I think they should. But until the time when they have all the proper you, know, you don't want them to be the Washington Washingtons. Yeah. yeah, I just don't want. I don't want generic fucking yeah. logos and yeah. uniforms in my oh, man. Yeah. Call me, call me a purist. The Washington Washingtons. I have the high ground, guy. It's all over. Grammy, can I have the high ground? Don't do this to yourself. I'm gonna cut you in pieces, you dumb shit. You underestimate my power. You underestimate my power. <laughs> you underestimate it. You don't even know me. No, I do know you, dipshit. I can use the force. You ain't gonna win. You can't win. God. That scene like that scene archers. still gets me till this day. Who wants it? Who wants it? We won't be yeah, we won't for me, Adrian. I'm a warrior. You can't just turn it on and off like a radio. Who built this way? God damn this fucking brush. Wow, now I can fucking hear you way better. Yay! Hooray! Not, it was like, you guys were like skipping before. It was like weird. Uh, yeah, sometimes it's like, Discord sometimes, will do that. Sometimes Discord's a bitch. Yeah. I just said, I think my computer had an update. I don't know what it was, but... Uh. I just decided to just restart the whole thing. Yeah, sometimes that's what you gotta do. How are you enjoying that game so far, Brandon? Pretty good. I definitely, I've been playing the regular non Kurosawa mode on my PS Pro, and I get what Ming says, it does look visually striking. It does. That's awesome. Add a completely different experience to the game. Oh, this guy, I'm like, I thought that was great. Well, I think that's the point, though. So the point is so you can experience it in this black and white mode, yeah. and then, you yeah. know, experience no, it in all No, it's the definitely glory. a different... I wouldn't call it a better experience, but I think it's a lot more helpful. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's color, right? You can see everything. I don't like get up. I don't like get up there. There's no... It. Okay. There we go. Hungry fella. There you go. Where is... I remember when I watched Ace Ventura for the first time, I didn't realize that that shit gave him a blowjob. How old were you to wa have, like, when you watched it for the first time, though? Uh, it was 1994, so I was like 13, 12, 13. Oh, okay. I was, yeah. I was 10 when I first saw it. Yeah, I did not no understand. Idea. I have like, no idea what that was when, when, he, when she's like, oh, I can pull your pants down and stand. I, think really, I, I was today years old when I <laughs> Then I think, think to myself now, like, Jesus Christ. Thank like, kids, kids were going to see that. The like, kids couldn't wait to see Ace Ventura. Because they love Jim Carrey. And then you get there and you find out that he's getting... You want to getting... laugh. The, the huge comic book nerd that I am, one of the first comic book movies I ever really saw in the movie theaters was the first 
Batman movie with Michael Keaton. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, I loved the movie. I was a kid, though. I fell right yeah, asleep. Exactly. I remember when my um, I didn't go to the theaters. They bought it on VHS, and I oh, had that okay. that Pizza Hut commercial. Oh, there she is. There she is. And he's like, she's still fighting. When Alfred's like, don't leave home without it, or whatever, and he has to stop and get pizza on the way. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that commercial, and then. I remember watching it and thinking to myself, like, that's not the Joker. Because I was like, just... My, my experience at that point was the, was the, the Comic Code comics. Cesar Romero. And yeah. Cesar Romero. So I'm thinking, like, <laughs> I'll get you, Batman. Instead, I get fucking crazy-ass Jack Nicholson. Well, don't get me wrong. I was very happy with it, but... Oh, yeah. No, it was, it was it's definitely just... a, a, a change. Not what I was expecting. Yeah, it was just not what I was expecting. I was like, this isn't bad. I was, I was expecting, meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. Oh, you were expecting the, the Mr. Freeze Batman movie where yeah. everything was done mm-hmm. in, like, a super yeah. comic booky, crappy way. Did you see this one that, that they keep saying Joel Schumacher director cut was much darker? They're trying to say that there's another cut. I highly doubt that yeah, there's another saying, cut of that movie that's good. They're saying it's much darker and shit. I think it was the one with yeah. Val Kilmer, though. And that was, I think it was Batman Forever. No, it was a Batman Forever. Oh, Robin. it's the one with the Riddler. The one with the Riddler is the one they said that they have an extended version. Yes, that's stuff. Batman Forever. Yeah, but, yeah, but at the same time, meh. I mean, what's what can you really <laughs> add to that movie to make it better in any way? I mean, it wasn't the greatest. It wasn't the worst, but it wasn't the greatest. Yeah. I think people are just trying to uh, piggyback this whole Justice League, being able to, well, to get their, their relaunch. I agree. I agree. I'm excited for that, though. You know, I think they messed it up because, like, Ben Affleck didn't do anything wrong. He just was like, no. This Matt Reeves was like, I want a younger guy. Mm, too bad. I would have well, been like, least, I don't care. Ben Affleck to me was the yeah, best Batman. Yeah. I don't think too seen. fucking bad, Matt Reeves. You're getting Ben Affleck. That's it. He's in our universe. Well, also, I think Affleck was going through personal stuff at that time, too. So was that's he? probably why he stepped away from the role. All right. well, I heard he was like a big time Alky. Yeah, he definitely did have alcohol problems, I heard. Who's Bruce Wayne? What do you expect? I, I, fuck it. I mean, you know, he's still, apparently he's still going to be playing stuff in the, on the HBO Max uh, series <laughs> and stuff like that that like they put on, that he'll still be playing Bruce Wayne Batman. That's what I'm saying, dude. Wow, so, what the fuck are you doing? Fuck it. I, I like him as Batman. I think he was good. I know. I was a very big fan of Ben Affleck as Batman. It was just shitty scripting for some of the movies, personally. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of people had a problem with him killing people, but I was, I was like, all right, I get it. Nah, you know, I can live with the killing thing so much, to a certain point. Yeah, it didn't because bother me. he's older. And I was thinking, I mean, like, well, yeah, obviously I mean, Robin has something to do with this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, like, I you know, get demon, it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was, it, it, and it wasn't outright, like, it wasn't like they showed you just him shoving a battering in some guy's eye or some shit like yeah. that. You know what I mean? Like, it, it was... A lot cooler if he did, though. Yeah, it might have been, but I'm just saying, like, they at least made it, like, not outright, you know? It was just kind of those things, like, yeah, that guy just died. Yeah, like, oh, that car definitely just blew up. <laughs> that guy inside the yeah, car. Yeah, like, when he, when, he, when he just rams, like, jumps through the air and rams the back of that pickup truck, I mean, yeah, that, that yeah, semi. That's how he clearly you killed know those what I mean? guys. Like, those guys are definitely dead. Yeah. There's no way they live through that. The best is when the 80s movies, where, like, they make sure they tell you they're alive. They're going to make a full recovery. Luckily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Batman only just hit the, the, the bumper. And like I, when I, I, I remember when I watched the G.I. Joe cartoon and then Serpentor stabbed Duke through the chest. Remember that? With the fucking, with the serpent staff and he died. And he like, you think Duke is dead? And at the final, at like the last couple minutes in the movie, they're like, we just got word from the hospital. Duke's okay. And everybody's like, yeah. And I, was, I remember just thinking <laughs> in my head, like, they had to throw that in to make sure everybody knew that Duke was all right because he was going to still be on the TV show. <laughs> like, Don't worry, we're still going to make Duke toys. Well, did they do the same thing with Optimus Prime and the Transformers? Uh, no, he died. Died. It he was died, like, died? Yeah, it was like yeah, a whole man. different... And that was like 
That was like morbid for some children. It was just yeah. kind of like. Well, you know what it is? They killed the was... they killed the odd Autobots within like the first couple minutes of the movie. That movie was done very seriously. Yeah. It was. Uh, it wasn't done like a kids movie the way a lot of other movies have been done. You know, and, and speaking of Transformers, that um, that Netflix show War for Cybertron, that trailer looked sick. Uh, I didn't know Rooster Teeth was the company that was behind. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty awesome. I didn't know that either. I was pretty shocked. I thought that was pretty oh, awesome. Okay. Yeah, I like their um, their their uh, what is it? R Y W B. Ruby. Yeah, that 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 oh. that series is really really good. Yeah, so they're doing War for Cybertron. Oh, I had to cancel my GI Joe figures, man. Taking forever on Big Bad Toys, and I was just like, you know what, fuck it. And I just, I, I spent too much money this week on, on things. I got those Lord of the Rings figures coming now. But I only got them for the horses, and then somebody told me that they're only good for Mythic Legion's trolls. Or goblins. I, I hope I hope he's wrong, though. Yeah. Oh, come on, that didn't give me a full point? Fuck off. How do you get points? What is it like? It's like, uh... I kill it. I, I just... I want to stand off. Oh. And, uh... I killed a bunch of people. What is it, though? You level up? Yeah, that's how you get the technique points by... by okay. By... Are the standoffs successful. repetitive, or do you feel like they're always kind of unique in some way? It gets harder as you go on, because the enemy faint you. I was also watching uh, somebody else play who's well into Act 2 of the game, um, or I'm still on Act 1, and there are people that do double faints. Gotcha. So it's like, you gotta, oh, that's a bear. That's a bear. Or something, or something. He was 12 foot stories tall if he was a foot. Yeah, that sounds very bear like. Get out of here. That guy's a bear. Get that bear out of here. I'm trying to fuck with bears, son. Get out of here with that shit. I don't fuck with bears. I'm a samurai. I'm not a bear killer. I'm not. I'm a samurai. Yeah, I'm not trying to fight bears. What <laughs> is this? I'm a samurai. I'm not a bear killer. There is no mm -hmm. honor in killing bears. No honor, I tell you, in killing the bear. I give you Austin Powers Faja. You are his Faja. Faja. Faja means dead. Oh, his father. Father. Yeah, English is my second language. That's the third one. Yeah, it's gold member. There's gotta be a way down, and there is. This first coat, like, is gross. Doesn't even, like. Doesn't even look like anything's on it right now, people. I know. That's a fucked up body. You have no honor, boy. Oh, in force. That's. Mm. Yeah, uh, Manny, so it Dark Ages spawn horses, if you're looking for horses. Say that again? Uh, Dark Ages Dark Ages spawn figures? Yeah. They have the good horses. Dark Ages spawn? Dark Ages spawn, yeah. yeah there was a, oh, it was a, dogs. Oh, I'm kidding. I don't want to kill dogs. It was dogs. like, a, 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 way, like a, a, um, a series they did in, like, uh, early 2000s. Yeah. I'm looking now. I bought one. I already got one coming. Fifty dollars. But it's be it beats fucking a hundred dollars for fucking the myth of. Am I Legion's killing one. Chow Chows, man? I don't want to kill Chow Chows. I like Chow Chows. They're nice. Which I mean, which horse did you buy? The one where it looks like the guy's screaming. Okay, hold on. Let me see. And the horse has like uh, the ram horns on him. And then I want oh. that oh, that other one, but the other one is mad expensive. 
to get the other oh, horse. The one that the one that looks like a bat, like or dragon kind of armor on it. Yeah, it has all the fucking armor on him. Yeah. Yeah, it's the with the Viking guy. Wait, the one where the guy's hold? Oh, not not the horse where the guy's holding up his axe ax in the air, right? That one, yeah. That's the one you bought. Yeah, the horse. The horse is by himself, though. Well, uh, yeah. That one's expensive too, from what I'm seeing. Did you get a good price? Yeah, fifty bucks. Fifty? Yeah, fifty bucks out of box. Oh, out of box. Okay. Yeah, he was by himself. Sense. Yeah, I think the yeah, guy's there, but he's missing I'm pieces. I'm you have eighty bucks in box, so yeah. makes sense. So as soon as I saw it, I, I grabbed it. I don't know, bro. Fifty bucks to get a horse? Are you, and, did uh, you get anything else out of it? Like, was any of the stuff useful? Yeah, yeah. The f I, I want the sword. The sword looks like He Man's sword. Oh, okay. Uh, the axe. The axe was there. He comes with a helmet, and uh, the is figure's the figure, there. Yeah, the figure's with him. Is the figure itself articulating? I don't think so, but I'm just gonna use him as like a zombie or like a as like a dead warrior. Like so a, he just he's in that pose on the horse. That's yeah, really yeah. Because I, I got I got the I got a, uh, another one of those Dark Ages spawn figures for yeah. like I spent twenty five bucks on one. Cause I was uh, kid bashing a Conan, and I needed I needed his uh, his armor pieces, and that's how I made my Conan out of the Dark Ages yeah. spawn armor and shit like that. And then I used Dude. that body as just like uh, that's the body I hung on those um, those crucifix crosses that I made. I used that Dark gotcha. Ages spawn. Do, does does any of the stuff on the horse come off? I think so. Uh, I was talking to some guy in articulating comic book art Facebook. Yeah. I was asking them which ones do they use because this they, they they've been taking a bunch of pictures lately with um with the Dante figure from uh, Dante's Inferno. Yeah. And he told me it was that that the, that's the horse they used that exact one. And I was like, all right. Now, goes. is it is it because there was one time where I I bought I bought a horse that was I forget which toy line it was. Yeah. Um, the legs were kind of stuck in a certain position, but you could press a button to make it look like it's walking. Okay. Is this one actually poseable? Yeah. Or is yeah, this... the legs, the legs move. Oh, okay. Yeah. But this one, like you can pose it, like yes. it's not some button you press. It's basically it. like the Figma horse, just less, like it's not as articulative. Where, where, like the the, the Figma horse, while like cool in terms of detail and, and 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 articulation, the problem was it was flimsy, like it couldn't hold any weight. Because the yeah, legs. Did you buy the Did you buy the official or the KO version? Because the officials were really expensive. Uh, oh, they probably had to be KO because I know I didn't spend that much money. I would have been pissed had I spent a ton of money and that horse broke because that horse came broken. Because he okay, literally yeah, came out of the box I, and his leg fell off. <laughs> yeah, because I remember the official Figma horses yeah. were going for like a hundred bucks at least. Oh yeah, and I don't know why. I really don't because I, like, even even when I saw them, I was like, well, these are like. I don't know. I don't know how they can hold any weight. I haven't seen anybody take any good pictures with the Figma horses personally. That's what so I'm saying. Every out. every single picture I've seen that's with, that's with an awesome, like a horse. It's those these Lord of the Rings ones, or the Lord of the Ring ones are good. Yeah, I got uh, I got two of them. I got a, the white one from Legolos, and I got the uh, uh, a brown one from uh, with the first one when uh, he's the Ranger, uh, Aragorn. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, when he's Strider or whatever. So I got I got those, um, and then I got the wolf that comes with the orc. Oh, nice! So the, the yeah the wolf mount. But I got him. but it, it's not like a poseable wolf. Yeah, it, it is. It, it, oh, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. The warg. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it comes with the the orc. Yeah. Oh, the thimble. Yeah, whatever that fucking orc or goblin yeah, is. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at it right now. Oh, yeah. it's like fifteen bucks too. Yeah, it comes with him. Yeah, that was three. It was it was eighty bucks. It was an eighty dollar uh, thing on eBay, but it came with the three mounts and fifteen Lord of the Rings figures. And like when I saw the Lord of the Rings figures, they uh, they look like shit because they're made from like two thousand three. Yeah. But they came with a bunch of like uh, um, it had all the like uh, um, Gandalf staff, the 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 sword of the king. The so fuck? just a whole load of excess. Just had a bunch of shit, yeah. And I'm like, all right, I can use all this shit. Because right now I'm yeah. like big into like, when it comes to the fucking photography, I like doing the, I, I like for some reason working with um, with orcs and, and knights and shit. Fuck it, work with what you work with what you like, man. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind working. Like I like I like doing the uh, the superheroes. Don't get me wrong, but like building buildings is 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 very as you as you can see with bricks and shit, it gets very annoying. Whoa. 
Whereas when when you're making this kind of shit, it's it. Well, although this is a bad cave, so yeah, I'm the gonna... building of the bricks is probably the more annoying part for me. Yeah. Um, it is, dude. Like I totally understand. Trust me. Yeah, that's probably the most annoying part for me, honestly. Yeah. I can't think of any other process of, of making dioramas that like I don't like. Yeah. I love loved when I did the back cave, the the creating uh, a cave, stacking foam, yeah. and then like carving it. Hell yeah. And stuff. So love that, man. That was so much fun. Well, it's easy because there's no rhyme or reason to making it. But when, you, yeah. but when you're doing the uh, the bricks, they, they have to be perfect because it can't yeah, look like they shit. Yeah, they got to be even and shit yeah. like that. And Unless you're just doing like... a destroyed building, then fuck it. And, and there's no way you go through it without fucking up at least once. Dude, it, it, yeah. That's why I hate making bricks. That's why I was telling you I want a laser, uh, a laser cutter because they do it for you. I was you. trying to tell you the other night, um, I still have the... the the floor of the Batman cave that I made. Do you really? Yeah, like the yeah. whole the whole wide floor of it. Okay. Right? I just got rid of the walls. All right. Because that shit was fucking massive, and I just had nowhere to store it anymore. <laughs> yeah. So I just kind of broke it down. I kept the floor because it was a really good designed floor. Yeah, hell yeah. And then I just got I got rid of the, the walls and shit like that. Right. So if you want the, the floor, you can have it, man. That would be a good way for you to start. Hell yeah, dude! Please, I'll take that. So I'll bring, I'll bring it, I'll bring it up to you during boner jams. Hell to the motherfucking yeah! I got a camp outside my backyard right now, and I'm just letting like the the, the elements just like weather the tent. Like I, I put a one twelve scale tent outside. Oh, nice! And I'm just okay. letting I was the. Like, why? I'm just, I was like, trying to understand. What are you? Why are you weathering a tent? Yeah, no, uh, <laughs> I just didn't think about it for a second. Yeah, it's a one twelve scale. Uh, I usually, what I usually do is. Um, so like, you know when you're painting, right, and you go to clean your brush? Yeah. And you have like a little cup next to you that's just constantly getting dirty? Yeah. Yeah, I take all that dirty water, and then I pour that into a spray bottle, and then I spray that to weather things. That's actually smart, dude. Yeah, it's actually very smart. So this way, it's because it's dirty, and yeah. it looks awesome, and it'll dry because it's paint, so it'll dry nice. Oh yeah. That's how that's how I did the back cave and everything, man. I just sprayed the shit out of it with dirty water. That's actually real fucking smart, dude. What is her fucking that, attitude that, uh, problem? What is that fucking Japanese lady's problem? Is her problem? Jesus Christ. Like this first coat of Mod Podge on these wood sticks are just like soaking it in like like a guy who's been walking through the desert for like the last 20 years. is just dying of thirst. He's like, give me all the fucking water you have. Oh. Give me all the Mod Podge you have now. I gotta read that script. I gotta film that thing. I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna go smoke. Okay. Oh, man. Don't you dare tease me with a good time. I think, <sighs> I think I'm about to do the same. Mm. T for two and two for T. What? As you can see, I'm getting there slowly but surely, folks. This, uh, just trying to do the inside first to get it done. <laughs> yeah, alright, bud. What? So you alright? Yeah. I just need to take a sip of water before I. Ah. Oh. Trying to get all this shit nice and done. Uh, Alright, where am I going? I don't know. He said it to you in Japanese, bud. And I'm not paying attention, so... I didn't read. You have no honor! 
I don't have an objective. You have no honor. You don't deserve an objective. You don't deserve an objective. You have no honor. Okay, I gotta find you. It's just a ridiculous samurai wearing a costume and a mask. He had the face of a turtle. Kappa. Kappa? Cappuccino? Nah, makes me hyper. I know. <laughs> Ninja there Turtles is. 3. That's how deep in the playbook I'm going. <laughs> Kevin Eastman was just like, fuck it. Pay me all the money you can. Give me that Ninja Turtle money. This is all Ninja Turtle money. What? Fuck. They're gonna kill her. They're gonna kill that bitch. This isn't like uh, Red Dead where you see people on the side of the road, right? Uh, no. There, there is. There's like random. Oh, there is. Stuff on. Yeah. Side quests, um, right? And they're called. Yeah, side quests and like that. Um, kind of like all games. It's like the strategy of whether you don't bat shit first to make yourself more powerful than you need to be. So when you complete the game, you're just running through people. That's how I do it. <laughs> do you that's just a, come across? Uncle... Do you just play story mode as fast as much as you can and do anything you come across if it's not cannibal? I did that with a Red Dead. Yeah, I, wanna, I play Red Dead too. I I I wanted to finish the story and then I stick I stick to the story mode. Yeah, that's how I play Red Dead. Yeah, I was like, fudge it. I want to see how this plays out for old Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Arthur Morgan, you stubborn son of a bitch! <laughs> Why did you have to die? Of measles? What did he have? What disease did he get? I forgot. Even the comments below. How did Arthur Morgan die in Red Dead Redemption? It was fucking awesome. Holy shit. What happened? You you saved her? Well, I just I yeah, I, well I saved I saved who I had to save and then I had to go while escorting those people out. Yeah. Came across another group of people that I had to save. Oh fuck, fuck they're gonna kill them. Too busy gloating about the last save because you didn't even think about the and next I, like, one. I like jumped off the roof and I like shoved my tonto into the guy's fucking throat. You like, shoved a small Native American man into somebody. The, the, the tonto. That's what it's. That's what the, uh, the short serum is called. <laughs> I thought you were a Lone Ranger. <laughs> Not like tonto. Not like tonto. Uh. I thought she was the yeah, long. Yeah. I thought she was the long ranger, and you was throwing a Native American man at somebody, like the head detective from *The Living Color*. Mm. That's right. I said the head detective. That was with David Allen Greer and Only Damon Wayans. Only when I'm facing the Mongolians. That was such a great skit. Fucking Mongolians. Hello, Mongolians! Fuck are you a whale? And fuck are you a dolphin? Damn it. You know movies underrated? What? Night at the Museum. Yeah. That's a good movie. I yeah, like okay. Them. I mean, they can't really say movies underrated if they made two. They made three of them. Sorry, three sequels, though. So it, it yeah. was properly rated. Which Night, movie? Night at the Museum. Night at the Museum. That was an entertaining movie. Yeah, I enjoyed that movie. I enjoyed those films. Fuck. I don't yeah. have to, like... Oh, this is a pain I got choked up at the end when Ben Stiller, you know, has to. The 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 the, the last one was oh. on uh, a 
USA not too long ago, TNT not too long ago, and I watched it. Pulled at the heartstrings a little bit. I'm not lying to you. He, he even went Mr. Are you, are you sure? Are you, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Perfectly natural. Uh, just making sure. You're following me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fucking escort. 2020. I am the man who will fight for your honor. Let's go. Come on, the people. Burn. The Mongolians. The Mongolians are coming. Oh no, not my shitty rice. Oh. <laughs> shitty walk. <laughs> Pound of shitty beef. Just you're right there. What are you crawling around me? What do you want, shitty chicken? My shitty cork. <laughs> no, no. Shitty chicken, shitty beef. <laughs> Yo, Tony. You. So, in your opinion. Hey, I'm listening. Right. I have to do like windows. Yeah. And doors. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. So what I'm thinking I'm do want to do is, is. Use like some some wood like um the the dowel sticks that I have okay to create like the outlines of the doors and all that kind of shit uh -huh. and then just put like the fucking you know the the plastic from the figures uh like the the shit the packaging yeah the packaging yeah I always I was so like, I always rip that out too by the way <laughs> yeah so like put that there but like paint. The uh, paint, the the foam. Like a like a like a like a this is like a store door, like a like a. Yeah, like yeah. it won't move or open or anything. Yeah, like no, that. I, know, I see what you mean. That should work, yeah. A nice plain black door. Yeah, that should work for sure. I use it for but regular the, doors. The I just plastic uh, will at least give a shine as if glass is there. There, yeah, no, it's, just, it's usually what I use for windows. Is that that plastic shit? Just mean I'm gonna show everybody my back computer in a second because that's what I'm gonna paint next. I'm gonna let these things dry overnight, and then I'm gonna give them another coat tomorrow. Let these fuckers, let these fuckers dry. <clears throat> I need an I need a pro a prolific Alfred figure. I don't have a prolific Alfred figure. I should have got that one that they released. I don't know why, Tony, but you just keep popping in and out for me. Oh, it's because my head is turned from the, uh... Oh, so it's not catching your voice all the time? Yeah. Yeah, my head is turned. Gotcha, okay. Well. Sorry. You should just have a headset, bro. Well, you know what it is? I got, I got the system and it's all this different shit hooked up. So right yeah. now I got uh, the laptop hooked up to the switcher, and that's what I'm using for. Uh, okay, I apparently cannot survive fall damage. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> that was good to know. It's a good lesson. Yeah, no, that was good. That was a good. It was in that moment that I realized that I wasn't invincible. Who's good? Who's good? Who's good? Oh shit, look at that. Boom. So. This wood, right here, motherfucker. This wood just drinks this fucking Mod Podge in like it's nothing like a sponge. I can't count all your boys first. Yeah, Alright, well, they saw me. I'm apparently less. Who's playing Glorious? Who's listening to fucking. Who's listening to that whack fucking Robert Rude? I don't want to say whack Robert Rude. Robert, 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 game. Got stuck in a wall. Stop 
Vegas. Glorious. No, I won't give in. I won't give in till I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. on the mar with this fucking stream this will all be painted the right way and it'll all be done we'll be moving on to the next I phase all the way back to the forge fucking mongorians wait for the mongorians to pass mongorians have passed Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Going is ready. I am a warrior. He was looking for me. I will find you, boy, and then I will kill you. My name is Bane, and I will kill you. I will kill you all, because my name is Bane. I enjoyed when Ricardo Montalban did the Bane voice in the animated series. Ah, yes, I played Khan in the very first Star Trek movie. My name is Ricardo Montalban. I play Bane in the animated series. I am here to kill Batman. Hey, why don't you just, like... What is your problem, Brandon? You have no idea, because you are not Bane. I am Bane. I am here to kill you. Jesus Christ, man. Alright. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. I take a couple of hits of my oil pen. Just, gonna, just a couple of oil men here. <laughs> Oh, what's the matter? Did somebody get addicted back? Oh, here comes some Mongolians. This name kept coming to me, Pepe Sylvia, Pepe Sylvia. This whole box is Pepe Sylvia. So I make my way down to Karen in HR. And I'm like, Karen! Karen! I thought it was Carol. No, Carol. Yeah, Carol! There is no Carol. There is no Carol in HR. This place is a goddamn ghost town. Half the people in this building has been made up. I'm going to stop you right there, Charlie. Not only do all these people actually exist, but they're asking for their mail on a daily basis. That's all they're talking about up there. Pepe Sylvia? He made Pennsylvania. He made Pennsylvania. That's what he meant by Pepe Sylvia. Is there any more Mongolians? Charlie, I'm going to stop you right there. <laughs> Not oh, only do all these people exist. Oh, yeah, framing swords. Those Mongolians are. I'm a dog. I'm an animal. Meet the, the fucking dogs. I want to kill a dog. Because they don't like you. And they know you like dogs. So, if so facto, they're gonna kill the dogs. They're killing all the dogs, man. They're killing the fucking dogs. Yo, I literally just saved this fucking bitch's life. Man, he's still in here? Yeah, I think he's still in here. Oh. He got quiet, yo. I'm he's still in... here, guys. I'm just, uh, I'm on the phone with Esther. I'll be back in a little bit. Oh, okay. I'm still here. I'm just real depressed. Get the dog. Get... I'm an old man. I ain't got what it takes anymore. My name is Terry Funk. Can, oh. can somebody give me a ride to the airport? 
gotta get uh, back to the so I was just, like again a random Facebook video dive today and uh was watching something from like one of McFoley's one man shows and he was talking about uh like just talking about that match with Nick Tigger. So and like this, this, this obviously it didn't go the way we like uh he said it's amazing uh show of just trying to get to the finish line. Yeah, pretty much. And, yeah. uh, he was talking about how when Barry Funk came out and, uh, you know, basically bought him a few minutes. The reason why Terry Funk was out there, Terry Funk, was check his pulse. Because the Undertaker said, is he still alive? <laughs> and then Terry Funk goes up to him, oh, he's got a pulse. And that's when the Undertaker... <laughs> Is he alive? Yeah. Well, good. Now he's gonna die. I'm coming in the ring. I'm gonna drop him on the tax, and then I'm gonna choke slam that fucker through it onto the stairs. Because why? Because I'm the dead man. That's why. Because he's done it now. He's gone and made a big mistake. It's fucking archers are fucking annoying. God, if Anthony heard us singing that song, Anthony'd be like, "You better shut the fuck up! You better shut up! Don't you speak of the Undertaker that way! Don't you dare speak of the dead man that way! He's the motherfucking dead man! Has some damn respect for the Undertaker! Man, fuck the Undertaker! A whack ass dead man! Oh wait, we're gonna kill somebody else." I'm trying to see if anybody's listening. <laughs> I failed so many times last night. Every time I see the skull go, an NPC said, "I'm like, oh." Okay. Ah, so they got the classic. If the skull's over his head, it means he's too hard for you to fight. The, sc the skull means the skull is over his head means he's got to kill like a hostage. Oh, okay, so, okay. Do you have, do have to engage him? Combat. I thought it meant that he was too strong for you. And it was, uh, some games it does. Like that's the Witcher. I thought, game, I thought that was the when when you when you play the Witcher. Warcraft that does that thing. Yeah, right. And they play that. Now. Yeah, it's usually most MMOs. They're like, don't go over here alone. You going to die? Ew. Ew, fuck you up. <laughs> hey, he gonna kick your ass, boy. You better get your ass away from him. Get your fat ass back over here. Where are you Mongolians? Get your fat ass back over here. Boner Jams already sent me a fucking picture from Instagram. <laughs> and he's oh my God. I and it can't was, tell. It was the, uh, did you see the, um, did you see the NHL? What are they, what are they doing on August 1st? No, what are they doing? They're doing the, the playing to get into the playoffs and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to start at start. noon. Already, already telling me he's like, we have to have a team. Yeah, he t <laughs> hit, me, hit me up. He's like, you better have a TV outside. I was like, guy, when, when, what year did we when not have it? What year did we not moved? have one outside? Yeah. And he was like, no, you're right. I was like, don't worry. I was like, I got you. I'm way ahead of you, bud. And he's like, all right. I like I said, I like the setup we did last year with the TV. We had the consoles out. How many TVs did we have out last year? We only had the one TV out. Just the one. Yeah, just the one. Yeah, we, had the both, one yeah. we had both the... PlayStation. It's still, it's still at the, the same time hard to see though. Uh, well, I got two. I got. I got two tents this year, so. It was fine at night. Yeah. How many people do you actually have coming? It's not a big crowd, right? No, not at all, dude. Nothing. Nothing at all. No super big crowd. No. Yeah. <clears throat> Keeping it intimate, small. I'm trying to get that Rona, bro. Oh, dude, dude, you and me both, no! bud. Luckily, it seems to be the people that I invited aren't uh, aren't being morons. So, everybody's trying to find Matt Cruz. By the way, I don't know if anybody have you been able to get in touch with yeah, him. Yeah, I'm assuming he's uh, like I said, deep undercover. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what he's actually doing. Right? They're just being busy with work. When he goes undercover. When he goes on those long periods of MIA, followed by or followed by an Instagram name change, it means he's, it means he's doing something. He's busy with work. Yeah, yeah. doing work. What with 
What with being an NYPD detective. What up, guys? Well, for SVU, too. It wasn't he doing special victims? I remember the last shit he was telling me. That fucking, that really fucked him up. Yeah, I decided not to work on 3D printing tonight. Oh, I don't want to be frustrated. <laughs> the light, uh, the the lamp that I, the street lamp that I printed completely failed. Ah, what happened? So I have to go at it again. I was about, let's say, 80% done. And what's wrong with it is that it's not the model. Nothing wrong with the model at all. It's I like I ran out of fucking uh, printer bed tape. Oh shit. So <laughs> I used some masking tape that I had because it's the same fucking shirt. But because it's in strips, it doesn't secure as well. And it fucking, you know, started lifting towards the end. So it all became like oval looking and shit and weird and warped. Damn. So I got to print it again. That's happened already a few times. One time already, um, already wasn't putting the side plates on. And it was, he was printing a, 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 I think it was a Wolverine helmet at the time in the summertime. And because he had yeah. the fan on and the air conditioner, it was cooling down the fucking, the head. Oh, and it was warping. And it was warped, yep. And it was going all yeah. off and he was fucking everything up. Yeah. Because he kept hitting me up. He goes, I don't know what the fuck is going on. And then finally, he, I guess he did some research and he's like, oh, he goes, I'm an idiot. And I go, what? He goes, I think I've been leaving the fan on and it was blowing on it. And I was like, oh, shit. He's like, you kidding me? And he's like, yeah. He goes, <laughs> I'm an idiot. And I was like, all right. And then he uh, he he, he, did, he tried it. He, he put the, the walls on. And the fucking thing print, printed, no problem. Yeah, bro. It's it's always it's always the, the, the smallest, simplest fucking thing. Yeah. And it takes forever to fucking figure out. But you know what? That's why you troubleshoot, you know? Like I said, I'm going to... I mean, Brandon can attest. How many problems have, how many little tiny problems have you had uh, podcasting and shit? Yeah. Uh, a lot. <laughs> Dude, a couple of weeks ago, I, I had the system all working, and then one little thing crashed everything. I had to walk out of the room. <laughs> oh, was that that day we had to skip? That was the Sunday, yeah. Was the Sunday, yeah. 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 We had everything up running, and then... Uh, it just decided to stop working. Yeah. Which was weird, because, like, all you did was nudge it with your foot. Yeah. Well, I unplugged everything by accident, was what it was. And then I... I didn't even see you did, like... I just saw you, like, kick it. I didn't... Oh, yeah, no, everything turned off and back on. Because cause I remember Matt sitting next to me going, what just happened? I go, I just turned everything back on and off. And then when I did that, for some reason, just wasn't reading everything anymore. And I just needed to get away from everybody. It's always something stupid, man. Yeah, and then I came back like an hour and a half later and everything was fine. <laughs> okay, that was... Mod Podge, bro. Fucking love this shit. Yeah, that's what I'm using right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm using right now Greatest to seal this. fucking shit, man. Yeah, it's, it's great to paint on because it yeah. gets nice and smooth dry. Yep. And it's a good glue. Yep. I um, right, I used it so many times for cosplay. <laughs> yeah. For cosplay, yeah, uh, to seal foam and shit. Secure wood to this uh. fucking thing. Yeah, man, Mod Podge. Mod Podge is a lifesaver. I was at Tom's house when, uh, for the UFC thing a couple weeks ago, and this girl comes out and she's like asking Tom. She's like, I'm trying to. Like, she was making the craft thing, and she was like, I'm trying to see what I can paint on this thing to make. All right, yo, you can see my camera now. Let me see. So, I'm going to slide it a little closer here. Let's see. So, I went with those bricks. I see. Okay. So, and they're then like... Steps they're like, on the bottom. You got the, like that 3D effect. Piece. Yeah, and this back I'll piece show everybody being right now what Manny's where the doorway going. is. That actually did a really good fucking job with those bricks, dude. Yeah, that shit is fucking... I never want to do that again. <laughs> dude, that's fucking rough, dude. I'm not doing big bricks like that anymore. <laughs> I mean, I could see myself doing, like, the, uh... 
See, I could see myself doing like the, uh, you know, those giant like how people use it to make like really big displays, and like not one twelve, like actually like. Yeah, for like houses and shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, there's some sick, sick, sick displays like that I've seen of people doing like just like the bricks that you're talking about that you want to do for like the castle. Yeah, I saw a few. I saw like the for like fifty bucks you can get the little pallet, the little mini pallet. You can get the actual red bricks, or you can get the center blocks, or you can go to. I don't, why you? I don't know why you don't just do it with the with the foam yourself. Yeah. What? Well, which ones? The the walls. I I I've done it with foam. I've I've done it a few times with foam. The reason I'm gonna use actual bricks is because I'm well for the castle walls is because I want to put actual torches, and if I use insulation foam, it's gonna melt it. So I needed to, I need to use actual rocks. So I'm gonna make an actual rock wall. When it comes to bricks for the buildings, I I, I would prefer foam, but they, it just takes forever. It 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 takes for fucking ever. And if you like you said, if you fuck up, you have to start all over again, or you just have to say, all right, this 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 wall's damaged. It's battle damaged. Or it's weather. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's always what I always say. Oh well, there goes the weathered brick. Yeah, it's it's battle damage now. Yeah. <laughs> that's one thing I don't like about the bricks. You have to be like perfect. That's why I want that fucking laser cutter because the laser cutter at least will eliminate a lot of the error. Well, you saw the guy wasn't even trying to test what we wanted. He was trying to see how a laser could cut through pink foam. Yeah. And he saw that at a low setting. It put, it actually puts detail into the foam. Foam, yeah. So, so I mean, I've looked at a bunch of the laser printers online, man. They they I mean they can run different prices, man. Like some, but you would need a big one to get what you want done. Yeah. Cause you gotta lay that and big piece of foam in and shit. Part. And that's where they start to get pricey when they start to get bigger. Obviously, which is fucking frustrating. Yeah. But hey, listen. At one time, they get, at one time, they 3, 3D cheaper. printers were mad. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because at one yeah, time, 3D yeah. printers were mad expensive, and then they came one down in price. Yeah, I never thought I'd have a 3D printer and shit yeah. like that, man. They yeah. definitely like are way more like cheaper now. Yeah, because I remember getting. I remember we and Artie went have. Well, we didn't really go halves. He bought most of it, but I remember when we did that shit, and that was expensive. And now, like those printers, you probably get them for like a fraction of what we paid then. That was a couple yeah. years ago. Whoa, Jesus! Yeah, that was a couple of years ago. I can only imagine. Yeah, I, re I, I mean, and even now, the 3D printers are getting cheaper because everybody wants the resin printers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because the resin printers create more detail, right? Better detail or whatever? Well, the resin printers just print smoother, so you don't have to sand as much and shit. Yeah. Well, because it just like, basically comes out of that part. fucking liquid liquid tub. Right, the, like the 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 thing rate lowers down over this liquid tub and then just literally pulls the image out of the fucking liquid. Yeah, yeah, it's it's literally like uh, you ever see that that movie with uh, Liam Neeson, uh, Dark Man? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. The way he used to print the masks and shit like that. That's what I'm saying, dude. Very reminiscent of that. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot Liam Neeson was Dark Man. That was one of my favorite movies as a kid, man. Yeah. I remember that movie. Like literally one of my top. I had the. My father had the cassette. I watched the shit out of that cassette, man. man. I forgot that he was Liam. Ne I forgot that was Liam Neeson's. Because that was to me that was like one of the first superhero movies I seen. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. like, this dude can. This dude could change his face. He doesn't feel anything. Yeah, I remember that. I remember like watching it with my mom, and she was just like, "This is very dark. I think this is too dark for you." Because <laughs> she's ex she's like she was expecting. Uh, oh yeah, no, it was definitely. Uh, yeah. It, was, it had it had it was that it was that RoboCop type gore. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. She was like, yeah. "What the fuck is this?" And I'm like, "I don't know, it's Dark Man." And she's like, "No, no, 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 no." She was expecting like a superhero movie. She's like, "I thought yeah, it was like 80s, Batman." <laughs> the '80s were a very uh, gory time for movies. Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah, big time. It was just like even the action movies, like like to like um all, all Arnold movies. Uh, all... Is that your pet wolf or pet fox? Uh, it's a shrine, so you go to play. Oh, you know, this is the fox den. Okay, I yeah. got it. Uh, well, it's the in our, it's a shrine, so uh, you go there to pray to get an extra charm slot. Gotcha. Uh, I assume several of them are hidden uh, around. I saw the I saw the fox around you. I thought maybe you had a pet. Uh, no, it's just a. 
friendly. He's not allowed to have a dog. <laughs> it's just a friendly dog star. You are not allowed to have a dog. You're a samurai. Samurais don't have dogs. Hey, that's how I climb down. The um, the streets are painted with the with the the, the lines, okay, and shit like that. Okay, um, and the sidewalks are all painted, and I dirtied them up awesome. and shit, and I installed the magnets and stuff, so those all connect nicely and they look nice together. Yeah, I'm picking up that phone tomorrow for the uh, for your building. I think I'm gonna add uh, a third piece, okay, for the, like as a center, okay, to make the street longer if you wanted, okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. this way, you don't always have to have the same scene. You kind of can switch. You switch around, absolutely. You know what I mean? You can either use one square just to have a small, short scene, or you can use three squares and have a large, you know, scene battle with, you know... Like, it's, you know, for, for instance, with the Sentinels and shit like that. Yeah, hell know? yeah. Gosh, I can't wait. I can't wait for those fucking things. Which I was thinking today about the Sentinel, and I'm like, I cannot wait yeah. to see who customizes them. Because, well, one guy bought eight, like, so be prepared. Some, there are some sick custom artists out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, like, I would love to see somebody do, like, there's a, the, recently they had the, 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 the Doctor Doom version mm -hmm. of the Sentinel. Okay. Which was fucking awesome. Well, I know um, the, the, my, my, the one guy that I'm, I'm, that I always follow, uh, Kid Bash Customs. Yeah, like yeah, he he them. bought five. I think only if he bought eight or five of them things, so he's ready to customize them. Oh yeah, he's definitely gonna yeah. customize one for yeah. sure. There's he's gonna no make one master level. mold, and then I I guarantee at least one of them he does a full battle damage. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because I mean, while I'm happy they gave us battle damage parts, it's definitely kind of you know lackluster. It, it, it's borderline cheap. Yeah, it's just a, a head and a hand. Yeah, like all they did was just say, "Okay, we'll give you a hand without some of the articulation." Yeah, yeah. And we'll say it was battle damage. Yeah. You know what I mean, or some shit like that. Like, yeah. So that's why I was thinking, like, when when they got to uh to, uh, to over ten thousand or whatever, with uh, with the tiers, I thought they were going to give us Nimrod. That's why I was a little disappointed you had to pay for Nimrod. That he's in that, yeah, I was that weird a three pack. Disappointed that Nimrod wasn't kind of included in this. Nimrod, but... I think, should have been included, especially when they got to eleven thousand so quickly, and when they were like, "Oh, we're sorry, like we, uh, we didn't, we didn't specify." Like, I'm like, I, obviously, I don't want to be one of those guys who's like, "This is not enough. I want more." But I felt like if you were gonna give us shit, you didn't have to give us. You, you, you could have made that that chick and that guy sentinel thing, human thing. Yeah. Like that could have been in waves or something. That could have been something that like a three pack that people could have paid for and gotten like two two girls or two guys and the girl or some shit, you know. And then Nimrod should have came with the big Sentinel. I think I feel. Well, Bastion's important. I mean, because he was an actual like you know full on villain within the X Men comic books at one point. You know yeah. what I mean? So he, adding him, I thought was cool. You know what I mean? Um I don't agree with the girl being added, which that kind of, to me, that was kind of Well, that like, was, eh. yeah, that that was just because they were probably just like, yeah, we have a female body, let's just fucking give them this, because it's, it's not that hard yeah. to, to produce. Oh, the trail of dead Mongols. Uh, I do like, I heard that they're adding a second tentacle. They yeah, yeah, that. yeah, they're they're adding a second tentacle because that that's that's basically their, we're, we're sorry, we uh we didn't specify. So we're just going to give you that instead. Well, yeah, I, I don't think they expected to get as many people buying. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Because I mean, even I, it's, I, it slowed down, but they hit that six thousand within within you know less than forty eight hours. No, they hit in twenty four hours. It was in twenty four hours because I remember them saying like, "Holy shit!" Because I got the email from them. Oh, okay. They were like, "Thank you so much." Less than twenty four hours, we reached our goal. It was less than forty eight hours that they reached the main main goal, which was nine thousand. It was like it was like just almost just under three days that they got. Over ten thousand. That's why they did it's, Fan Tuesday instead of Fan I Friday. I would say what's going to hurt them here is the price mark. Yeah. I'm glad that it was so low, mm -hmm. but it shouldn't have been that low. What uh, the Sentinel? Because you now just <clears throat> gave me 
a 28 inch action figure for $350, right? That yeah. there's no way to justify large, like, like the large price marks on other things from them anymore. Yeah. Like Galactus, because you, know you mean? know they're going to release a Galactus one. Yeah, like somebody on uh, somebody on the on the Facebook page is like had like the Sentinel, like the Toy Biz one, which I like. Don't get me yeah. wrong, but I saw it for sale, and it was like the classic, you know, two two hundred fifty dollars for it. And I'm like, I can't see paying two hundred and fifty dollars when I can add an extra hundred and get a twenty eight inch one. Get a big ass one. Yeah. 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 Well, then now, did you see? Did, did you even watch? Did, you didn't watch that Fan Friday thing, right? I didn't watch it today. No. All right, no. Well, they uh, they showed off like this this one little accessory was like the like whatever what everybody's thinking. It's the Jim Lee re re release of Rogue. Like it was like a gloved hand or whatever that they hadn't that, that they had that they were showing. Okay. So now everybody's talking about how everybody's gonna you know everybody scalped or or, or basically bought all the rogues they could buy. Yeah. So now everybody's like, get ready, because they're gonna start selling. Those, they're gonna start trying to sell off all their rogues that they that they bought, and now they've been been marking up. That's how it works, man. Yeah, dude, man. People today were on. I noticed they were on uh, on Facebook complaining about Target because the the Warpath Storm thing's already sold out. The pre order. Bro, the the Walmart exclusive sold out super quick. Which one's that? Like super quick. Uh, which, and then they which, also what, what exclusive was theirs? Pictures that their orders were getting canceled. Yeah. What orders were that? What was the exclusive for Walmart? Uh, the exclusives for Walmart were the... Um, oh, man. Hold on a second. I'll tell you what. Because I'm waiting for the Hellfire Club. I didn't see that anywhere. That blew my... I was so happy to see that today. Yeah, the Hellfire Club was an awesome addition. I was just a little upset that it wasn't the actual four Hellfire gentlemen. Oh yeah, yeah. It was gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> was the, the the like the fat guy that can change his uh, density or whatever, and he fucks up Wolverine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but listen, I'll take that fucking that that Black Queen, that Jean yeah. Grey. That's awesome. Yeah, the black queen and a, and a, like an actual accurate Emma Frost, like the one that we had, like the one you got from the Walgreens exclusive wasn't bad, but that one was was I have the I mean the Emma Frost that I have is the uh, the the Marvel Now one, the one with the black costume. Okay, yeah, the one from Walgreens, right? The Walgreens exclusive. From where? The Walgreens exclusive. Um, where she has a black corset. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's the Marvel Now one, the Walgreens exclusive. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I have. And I like it, don't get me wrong, but nothing beats the, like the original Emma Frost with the fucking white the white queen. Yeah. They gave you the alternate head with it, but the you know, obviously This wasn't the same. You know, and I, I know I, I saw a lot of people obviously customized and made 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 a, a custom one in the white corset and everything like that but I, I i never like to do that i don't like to to to, to kit bash fucking uh, marvel legends into other marvel legends because they eventually just release them yeah so to me it's like theater. yeah but to me it's like you <laughs> you're wasting your fucking time dude like they're just gonna release it later so okay so it was the um right here is it this link yeah, so it was the, um, the, the, first it was the Venomized Captain America. Alright. Which I don't know why then, anybody wanted that. No. And then the, uh, the cable. Alright, see, I understand that one, which was from the, from the movie. Yeah, from the movie. Mm -hmm. Which I don't understand why they're, I mean, the Deadpool one's fine, but why are we getting X-Men from the Fox movies? Like, I don't know. I, I think they're just trying to see if anybody's gonna fucking... You know, because they never made them before, so it's it's new. You know, I like that. That that. Did you see the dual set with uh, Logan? Oh, fuck yeah, I'm getting that. Yeah, I saw. Oh, 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 you mean the um the old man Logan one, the movie? Yeah. Yeah, and I saw that one. I'm not anything from the X Men movies. I'm not. I'm not really keen on. I don't buy them, but it looks. Yeah. Um, I want the old man Logan with Hawkeye. Yeah, that looks. Really that I want that two pack. That was sick. That I like that one a lot. 
Yeah, Target exclusive sells out in seconds. Yeah, because of the bots, I guess. They're bots, I, I guess. Yeah. So people mad complain like and then like this one guy went on the thing goes, If you're complaining about this, just make your own bot and get it. I'm k I'm sick and tired of hearing people complain about it. Well, you know, it is <laughs> it is a little bullshit annoying that these bit these bitch asses are buying them in fucking like tw by twenty. Uh Mafex is releasing Wolverine in the brown costume. In the brown costume, costume. I know. I gotta get I gotta I gotta, I gotta get my shit together with Mafex. I gotta get all those. I haven't bought any of the X Men Mafex. I was gonna buy the Cyclops and decided yeah. not to. You know what it is? When it comes to those, when it comes to anything Marvel, I just look at the Legends and I'm like, you know what? I'll just get the comic version. They look good. I don't have to fucking, yeah. you know, like it's not a big deal that they don't articulate like 20 more different ways than the fucking Mafex one does. Yeah, yeah. I don't need all that articulation. Yeah, I'm not worried about that shit. Exactly. If I need it, like, if I, if there's a certain figure that I'm definitely in, like, that I like. Then yeah. I'll get a Mafex or a, or a Figure Arts version of that. You know? Exactly. But like Hulk, I yeah. have a, I have a I have the Figure Arts version of Hulk. You know what I mean? From the um, uh, from this last movie, fucking. Oh, uh, Infinity War, whatever. No, not I don't think it was End Infinity Endgame. War. Actually. Endgame. It might have been the one before that. I don't remember, but anyway. Ragnarok. Um, but the articulation's good. I don't like any of the articulation on the on the Marvel Legends Hulks. The only one I like on, on the terms of the Marvel Legends, I got the the first appearance of Wolverine as the Hulk because he's the comic Hulk. If anybody wondering, this is the back computer. That's that that one looks cool. That's, this is my uh, back computer, as you can see. And it looks more obviously. It looks more like the comic Hulk, obviously. Yeah. I'm um, okay with the. Uh, I'm okay with the figure arts look because it, uh, it looks like a comic-y version of the movie look. Yeah. So, um, for me, I'm like I'm happy with that. For anybody watching the stream, this is my back computer. This middle spot right here that you don't see is is for an iPad, so the screen actually lights up. And right here is going to be for an iPhone. So this is uh, I'm going to stick an iPhone here, this little fucking guy, and an iPad here, and the screen's going to create practical lights for the for the shoot. These actually work, these lights. See? So I can turn them on. They actually light up. A little bit of a... This one, the battery's dead, Looks I think. Looks like one of those light bright systems. Yeah. I, uh... Got some shit. I made the, I made the buttons myself by cutting out some of that, that mesh wiring. And then adding hot glue. And, and pushing down the wiring on the glue. And then they, they, the buttons came through. So, oh, nice. Yeah. So that, like I said, the iPad is gonna be in the big screen, and then this little mini screen right here is gonna be an iPhone. These these little square and circle things light up too, and there's gonna be. I just I didn't put the lights in yet, but yeah, man. So. Oh yeah, that's pretty sick, bro. Yeah, and then uh, hold on, I'll show you, cause it's not complete, but right here is the top piece, just so everything sits in snug. And then I'm gonna put the bat logo here, obviously. Um, I made it. I made his chair. His chair is right here. Got the bat logo. Chair actually spins. <laughs> so, and it's like a little command center chair, for Batman. And then I have uh, over there. I have his uh, what 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 would be his his locker that he puts all his gadgets in. And then if you, as you if you can see in the camera right here, his stairs. They go up the fucking thing. Yeah, I see. So, it's pretty sick, so. I'm just gonna. I'm far from done with this. I just want to, uh. I'm not gonna paint this today. The angle of the chair doesn't mess with the figure sitting down? Nah. Not at all. Uh, what I'm gonna do with this, though, is this, this piece right here, these pieces right here, I'm gonna add trim so you don't see it. I'm gonna yeah. do. I'm gonna do that later. I'm not gonna paint this today because I gotta. I wanna clean this circle up a little bit better too. It's a little. It's a little crappy. Same thing with this. I'm gonna add some detail in the front of it too to hide to hide all the, the mistakes. But I'm pretty. I'm pretty happy with this fucking back computer, and this desk too. Awesome. It's a big ass desk that I made. It even has like fucking compartments and shit. That's that's uh, a mm. cool idea that you did the the iPad iPhone thing. Yeah. And then, like, on, if you look at the d desk right here, this is like one of those like hand scanner things that he would put his hand on. Yeah. And the light goes under it and lights it up green. So that's the that's the the the, the, the bat computer.
Then I made a big ass keyboard. It's in another box. I gotta paint. Nice. Yeah. So for now, I just gotta paint this last thing. I made three of these. This was the last one that I made. And then uh, I'm uh, gonna call it uh, quits on this for at least for now. I wish I had some sandpaper. I hit this with sandpaper. But I don't feel like going to find sandpaper. Blood in the grass. So. Technique points. Flip it upside down just like I've been doing the other ones. Toxic Crusaders. Wow. It's a blast Ooh, from the Mafex. past. Mafex is doing an animated Batman. Yeah, I, I saw that. That shit looks nice. Yeah, I saw that fucking um. This I'm not guy. gonna get it, but that shit looks nice. Yeah. You know what it is? Mafex does really good work, but their their figures are very pricey. Yeah. I already have like we were talking the other night. I already have the two Batmans and the Superman on on pre-order. I have the Superman pre-ordered. I canceled all the GI Joe classifieds from Big Bad because they take they they're just taking forever. Yeah, they are taking forever to ship shit. And I sent, uh, and, and I since I bought the Lord of the Rings and that that spawned Dark Ages horses, that was, I was like, all right, well now you're not getting GI Joe figures. Um, and, and to be honest, when I was looking at them, I was like, you know what? Do I really, I really fucking need these? I kind of thought the same thing yeah. when I saw the GI Joe. Yeah. I kind of thought to myself, how big of a GI Joe fan? That's what I just really? said to myself today. I was like, how big of a fan <laughs> of GI Joe are you that you that you're gonna? To buy the whole wave. Like, like, who gives a shit? Yeah, exactly. Like, maybe I'd buy, like, Cobra Commander or something, because it looked yeah. like a cool villain, you know? Destro. But, I'd buy Destro because of yeah, that. Yeah, Destro looks I, cool. Like, the only you know, reason... I, I wouldn't the, buy them all. Yeah, the only reason I wanted Duke was because I wanted to double his head as Captain America, Steve Rogers. Yeah, yeah. And the only so reason I wanted Duke. Wanted to do that. Yeah. The only reason I wanted Duke, other, other, other than, like, because, like, Roadblock, and, like I said, the other guys, like, Snake Eyes, I don't give a shit. I, like I said, never really... Never really been in a G.I. Joe like that. Now, if Hasbro gets the license to Thundercats, I'm all over that shit. Or He-Man. Yep. Let me ask you this. When you pre-order from Amazon, do they take the money right away? Yeah, them money? fuckers took that shit today. <laughs> Damn, man. Yeah, I mean, they took it for Nimrod you know, today. Like, it's like, I, I definitely would like to have Nimrod. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I can yeah. care less about Psylocke and Phantom X at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the... The 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 accessories are nice too. Yeah, the gun. They have gun effects now. The smoke effects. <laughs> yeah. They have all that shit, dude. I, I'm so happy that that they came around for that. They came around to that shit. I I hope that's a stable moving forward. Yeah, me too. You know, uh, I I'm curious. What's the the? Do you know anything about the pinless technology with the? With the Hawkeye? No, I have no yeah. clue. I have no idea what that means. So. If you look at the figure picture on Hasbro, you know how usually when 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 they um you know when you look at the bend in the arm and the knees, yeah, you see the pin. You see the little dot, yeah. Yeah, you don't see it anymore. Oh wow. Okay. Which means that's gonna be super hard for customizers. Yeah, because they're not gonna be able to take it to take it apart now. Yeah. Oh Jesus. I'm sure some genius will figure it out and teach everybody to be a yeah, YouTube. That's exactly it. <laughs> He's like, so I know everybody's been asking how the fuck you work these pinless systems. Here it is, bitches. And then that guy will be revered. Because a lot of guys, like, I, I never understood how anybody could uh, customize Mef uh, uh, Mezco figures because they're so expensive. Like, I always think to myself, like, why would you tear that figure apart? If you spent all that never, money, yeah, yeah, and then I realized that these fuck faces are buying multiple figures, so that's why they're doing it. <clears throat> oh yeah, was there a limit on the on a sentinel? Like, yeah, well, at first there wasn't, and then people started buying them all up, and then they had to put a five sentinel, a five limit on it. Just like the the old man Logan and and and, uh, and Hawkeye that came out, that has a limit of two. They don't want anybody going crazy. Yeah. I mean, all, if you just drop five of those, it's got to be cool. One guy bought eight. I remember seeing the, the, the screenshot in the fucking Marvel collecting. I mean, it's five per customer. Yeah. So, hey, buy it and then come back with a different credit card. Yeah, pretty much. I bet you plenty of people did that. 
Yeah, there was this one guy, like I said, my, my buddy in Texas, who uh, who's an action figure photographer and shit like that. He's the one who made the Weapon X tank for me. He uh, yeah. he he sent like he would like he, every now and again he'll post like like these little like vignette videos that he makes on Instagram, and he made one for the Sentinels. And I I, I commented on it. And I was like, guy, just out of curiosity, how many did you get? And he just put LOL. He's like five, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude. I was like, the fuck you need that many for? Like, I don't understand it. But then I, I think to myself, like, well, they're taking pictures. They're probably going to want multiple ones, or they're going to want to customize some. That was the same guy. He took a picture of all the scrolls that he had because he customized a bunch of scroll, uh, a scroll army, and he had over 100 yeah. scrolls. Damn. Yeah. And I said, how many do you have? He's over, over 100. He goes, I've been customizing them over the years, dude. And I was like, yeah, Jesus. where do these people get the money? That's what I'm saying. And he has kids and everything. So it's not like this guy's like a single weird loser guy living in his mom's basement. Where do these yeah. people get the money? Seriously. Yeah. Good jobs, dude. And, and they, don't, they don't do drugs and they don't spend it on fucking dumb things like Jordans. They don't spend it on Jordans or dumb TVs and shit. Although, that, I, this guy, that like this one guy had, has all the hot toys and everything like that. It just blows my mind how, like, how, that, how you can get into that hobby. Because that hobby has to get expensive. Hot toys, dude. Yeah, hot toys, I do not even want to ever touch, man. Yeah, man, they, they fucking, you gotta have like a fucking second mortgage to get into that. Yeah, seriously, you gotta take insurance out on them. Yeah, cause they are fucking pricey as shit. I know uh, Artie's girl Jen got him one for Christmas. They're still waiting on it. <laughs> yeah, still waiting on it, dude. It's it's the same here for me, man. Like Esther bought me the freaking. Uh, she bought me the the Dark Knight Returns Mayfix Batman. Okay, okay. Yeah, still waiting on it. Jesus. From what? From what? Where'd she get it from? From my birthday. From Big Bad Toy Store. From Big Bad Toy Store, yeah, dude. They're the worst, man. They are the fucking worst. I, I know. I love Big Bad Toy Store. I'm always, I always, I buy most of my shit from them. They're not bad. It's just a shitty situation right now. Nothing is shipping. <laughs> Mike Donovan is trying to kick it to Sam. Mm. Mike Donovan, you need to chill out, you thirsty ass motherfucker. What's who's he first and for now? Sam. Oh wow. Yeah, he's sitting Sam up on our Instagram. See our OnlyFans, ten dollars a month. Yeah, man, for sure. What? Yeah, I got her on OnlyFans. Sam's on OnlyFans, ten dollars a month. <laughs> wow. Considering what I've seen on OnlyFans, that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> <laughs> talk, to, talk to Tony. How good? How good is the content? <laughs> it's in. Yeah. Tony knows you can tell he's totally posts it. Yep. Can't tell nobody. I don't want to catfish people. It is actually Sam's pictures. She sends me the pictures. I just post them because she doesn't have the fucking wherewithal in the know. You're the one actually posting. Yeah. Well, you know what it is? Because I tell her to post and she doesn't do it. So she just sends me the picture and I do it now. Send me the picture and I'll do it for you. I do it while I'm smoking weed. I look at all the Insta at all the. OnlyFans chicks, and they go, oh my god, look at this girl. And then she's like, oh my god, for $5, I'll stick this dildo in my badge. <laughs> you're like, oh, okay then. I'm in. Only, it's only $10 to watch yourself get off. Yeah, 10 Ooh. bucks. Okay, I got, ten, I got $10 for a month. Oh my god, watch as I go to the gas station and lift my skirt up so everybody can see my butt. Through underwear. Oh my god, I'm wearing a thong. COVID, dongy COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. $80,000. $80,000. You talking about uh, that dumb shit fucking Vera baby? Oh my god. I don't know how to pay taxes. What are taxes? What is paint? What do we know you have to pay taxes on it? 
<laughs> oh, no, I have to keep all this money. What do you? I'm in so much trouble, guys. Can you help me? Can you go on Patreon and pay for my taxes? I, I sincerely hope that she just had bad. What happened? Like, I sincerely hope that she just had bad business people. I'm almost willing to bet. I'm almost willing to bet dollars to donuts that she's just that dumb. <laughs> but she's just that fucking stupid and was just like oh my god oh my if god. I spend there are, on there are people in the world who are that dumb that are that stupid yeah it's very true that is just like if I spend it all they can't get it no you fuck it, fucking idiot if you claim it yeah, yeah you claim <laughs> over a certain amount the like yeah. government wants their take they want their take they don't give a fuck what you do with it how you or how you earned it yeah I I had, a, I, had a, I had a friend tell me one time, I haven't paid my taxes uh, from last year. And I said, well, you should because you're going to get fees. And then they said, well, a, another person told me that I have seven years until I have to pay it. And I said, well, that's not necessarily mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you have to pay yeah it. sure. You got seven years to pay, but then you have to pay seven years worth of taxes. Exactly. So, and fees. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, sure, sure. Go ahead. You get an app for your phone. It does it. Dude, might people. I want to actually talk to a person who's licensed about that. <laughs> In the words of Ron Swanson, income tax is illegal. <laughs> the tale of Ryuzo. Gotham is too dead and deserves Damn, bam. to die. I cannot find this yellow ranger anywhere. Who, Trinity? She's dead, bro. Yeah, the, I mean, the cheapest I'm seeing is like close to 40, and I just don't want to spend that. How much? 40? Yeah. I thought you said 4 G's. <laughs> no, not 4 G's. <laughs> I was going to say, who the fuck is paying 4 grand for that girl? <laughs> That's the actual Trinity. They resurrected. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just back from the dead. <laughs> they put a piece of her ashes in each of the figures. Right. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Repco is made out of her own. Didn't she, like, kill somebody, too? I don't know if she ever killed somebody. I never heard I think she was. The, I think she was the one that went full on crazy and, like, killed somebody. I think it might have been a self defense. Are you sure? I was almost certain. If I'm for death. You ever read that shit with Billy, with the, the kid Billy, and he said he was bullied because he was gay? That's why they have you with the black girl. Yeah. Well, because the Asian chick went crazy? Yeah, like... She was bullying Billy? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> <laughs> She was like, stop being a but pussy, tiger. Billy. That's why you wear the blue she, shit, because no one cares about she blue. Would, she, would default, she would full tiger mom. Yeah. Hello, all you cool cats and kittens. Damn. Yo, that, that girl went, that girl had some crazy life. Yeah, like, she was she, not enough. She apparently, when she was six years old, her and her family boarded a cargo ship bound for Hong Kong. <laughs> With people packed in a tightly a tight space, yeah. And the trip, was, the trip was for eight to nine months. Oh uh, yeah, so she was human traffic. <laughs> and no, 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 it was because they were trying to escape uh, where they were from. They were from uh, um, uh, Vietnam. Mm -hmm. So uh. she, they were trying to get away, and. At one point, she she got she was unconscious because she they they like she wasn't eating much mm. and stuff. The passengers thought she was dead and wanted to throw her body overboard, and her mother stopped them from doing so. That's great. <laughs> That's some crazy shit. Yo. We don't need this she, tainted meat on the ship. Get it off. <laughs> she she came to the U.S. did not speak English, learned it obviously. And began studying Shaolin Kung Fu and eventually received the black belt. Oh, wow. How'd she die? She got in a car crash. Ah. Car crash. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, car accident. 
Brandon's got me thinking that she went all Betty Broderick on somebody. I didn't. I thought somebody from. Cast Man, you crazy, dude. The only thing from the original cast I remember is Jason, the the Red Ranger, becoming gay porn, or as that's what they said. But then I found out that that wasn't true because that guy came back. Well, they they immortalized her in the comic books recently. Who, Jason David Frank? Which was cool. What the, is that part of the Power Rangers where the three of them leave? In the original TV show, Jason, Trini, and, and Zach. Okay. In the comic books, they make it where they actually went to space working for a different ranger sect and became what's known as the Omega Rangers. Ah. Dude, I don't know how. Would you read these comic books? You read the Power Ranger comic books? Yeah, they. they um, Boom! Uh, there's a studio, the a comic book studio called Boom Studios. They're the ones that've been doing it for, uh, for a little bit now. So there's a few different ones. Um, there's one that's not so great to me personally, but there's uh, uh, but there's one that kind of follows the TV show loosely. Okay. It kind of does like stories in between the episodes. Ah, uh, okay. Right, like like you know what I mean. But so this way you get more storyline and stuff. Yeah. That one is the one that was really really done well. Okay. And what's this unworthy that I always see? With uh, Tommy. What with, what's the Power Rangers unworthy where Tommy comes as some like evil guy and he's like trying to oh, kill? Oh, that was uh, the the uh, another part of the comic book series where uh, um, he uh, it's an an alternate multiverse version of Tommy in which uh, he manipulated Ninjor into creating a version of the green white ranger and okay. like merged together okay and and told him he needed it to save his timeline and then he betrayed him and killed him and winds up becoming lord draken <laughs> and stuff like one of the like more evil villains now in the yeah. comic books <laughs> winds up creating an army of power rangers takes over different multiverses oh wow yeah. That would be an interesting uh, Power Ranger storyline, huh? Well, uh, from what I know, from what I've heard, they're, they're going to they're going to be changing it to an animated now that they're they're leaving Toei. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know why? So, because now they can just do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. And then they also have the new movie that's still being worked on too. With that with that same terrible fucking cast. No, they said they're not doing that same shit again. Oh, oh, you, you mean tell me Brian Cranston's not going to be Zordon anymore? <laughs> that, 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 that Krispy Kreme obsessed mm -hmm. movie. <laughs> that uh, product Walter, placement. Walter yeah, Walter Walter White. Times. Walter White's not going to take some some Rangers under his belt. The, the movie. Meth. Okay, for me, the movie wasn't bad until they got their power. Until they became actual Power Rangers. I felt like they 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 sped that along too quickly. Yeah, like the ending yeah. was just like a whole, I don't know, just the beginning, them becoming Power Rangers. It would be good as a Netflix show. Okay, yeah. If they had more time. I think it was too much to do in two hours. Yeah. They were just That's trying, they were trying too hard stories. to like. like you, can't, you can't make a Dragon Ball movie or a Dragon Ball Z movie because there's too much story to tell in two hours. Yeah, I get that. Sure. Too much And too much screaming. <laughs> they got to screen. They have to have it allotted at least twenty minutes movie needs, time to screen. Need at least an hour of screen time to do a spirit bomb. Yeah. So <laughs> the movie ends halfway, and they're like, "Come back when we continue." Goku screaming. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go to pay attention to the other, what the other character. Yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> Previously on Dragon Ball Z. Can you imagine. I can't wait till that movie comes out next year. Goku's in the middle of creating a spirit bomb. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so sick, man, when we come back next year and we see him finish it. <laughs> Can you imagine if the TBC, TBC worked like of, the MCU? There was a lot of butthurt uh, Dragon Ball fans this week. Why? Because <laughs> the, new, uh, the new manga uh, uh, issue came out, right? 
and Vegeta had gotten these sick powers and shit. And everybody thought finally, you know, they were gonna let Vegeta win a fight. Like be let Vegeta be the one who beats the villain for once. No way. And stuff. He got the other living shit beat out of him. <laughs> It's like, can't you understand that that's what that guy's destined to be? He's destined to be a tin can? Yeah, but it wasn't done after that. Vegeta got the ever shit kicked out of him. Goku got yamcha Wow. Who is this um, guy that they kicked the shit out of him? Uh, Piccolo got yamcha Krillin uh, got yamcha <laughs> uh, No, Krillin, <laughs> yamcha got yamcha. Krillin, Krillin didn't make it there in time. Um, so, yeah, like, like uh, Gohan, is, Gohan pretty much is knocked out. So, like, their entire team is just completely just done. Who are they fighting? Uh, this guy named Moro. Um, he, can, he can copy abilities and keep them in, uh, uh, forever. <laughs> so, all he has to do is touch you. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's like rogue. He's rogue. Yeah. He's broken. Yeah. So, he's basically rogue, but he doesn't, like, lose the powers. Yeah, not at all. Yeah, that sucks, doesn't dude. lose him at all. Leave it to the fucking Japanese to always make the fucking guy broken, the bad yeah. guy broken. He's pretty much robotic cell in a way. They're like, you know, what it is they just don't he's know what else to do. They're like, well, Goku but beat he everybody. The robot, so he's part android. It's like, oh, and then number eighteen and uh, eight, seventeen and eighteen also got knocked the fuck out. I like how they brought them back and turned them good guys. They're like, fuck yeah. it, they're alive now. They're good, and Krillin's banging one of them. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? You can bang a robot? Yeah, yeah no, no, no. Technically, the it's an android. Thing, so The funniest thing is that the daughter's name is so similar to the name of the girlfriend that Krillin had before <laughs> Android, uh, android 17. <laughs> that should be a great sketch. So, so Krillin, why do, we name name, our, why do we name our daughter this? I uh, named her after the strongest woman I knew. I think her name was was Mar- Marin, and the daughter's yes. name is Marin, but yeah. it's spelled differently. Yeah, <laughs> and and just slightly, slightly announced, uh, pronounced differently. And uh, her uh, Android seventeen said to her, or, or whatever. I always mix them up. The the yeah. the the, the, guy, the brother said to her once, "Oh, Marin," and said it the wrong way. And she pretty much gave him the death stare and said, I will kill you if you say it the wrong way again. Oh, wow. You ain't going to say that bitch's name in my presence. So, like, she knows that name used to be his ex. Why did you name it? Oh, man. (laughs) Here's a thought. You shouldn't have fucking named your daughter that, then. (laughs) He's like, Krillin, what do you want to name this kid? Marin. No. Okay, hold on a sec. Let me think. Uh, Bulma? Okay, fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That'd be like if Goku, like. like Tony, a... you never watched the uh, Dragon Ball Z abridged? Uh, yeah, I'm a cock. Uh, Brandon shows me them from time to time. They're funny, I, but. Yeah. Anytime, I've, anytime I've watched it over. Yeah, he he, he puts it on. In volition. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I've watched, I think I've watched it at least three times. Yeah, like, they're um, funny. I like, think that's how I prefer to watch the series. I, I prefer to watch the, the, the abridged versus the original. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And now, like, in the abridged version, Marin was... Because <laughs> yeah. Krillin, Krillin did insurance for us. Yeah, yeah, she, <laughs> she works for the FBI. <laughs> or whatever their version of the FBI. Yeah. <laughs> Technically faked his own death. <laughs> well, the best, the best Krillin line was. <laughs> what was that? The <laughs> man she tried to bang you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Krillin's funny though. Dude. He's like, oh, Goku, I don't know how to beat this guy. I need your help. I used to fucking hate Gohan. <laughs> Who has been spreading rumors, and I quote, that Gohan is beating my two 
Well, I'll come over here and pound your. <laughs> inside you. <laughs> We're just friends, Yugi. Oh my god. <laughs> no, she tried to bang you. <laughs> Sensibly. <No. laughs> I love when he. I love when he does it, and it just bounces off someone. <laughs> So great. Those guys, again, they hit a fucking home run because they were then able to. They were able to what? Yeah, Brandon, you cut out. They were able to parlay Dragon Ball Z a bridge, the success they, success they got from seven different other things. Yeah, they still do. They, they, they do uh, Final Fantasy abridged. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I think they only do that on Twitter. And they, they, but now they have their own other stuff that they've been doing, which is yeah. good. They're, they're talented guys. Those are Rooster Teeth or no? Uh, no, these are... Um, four Star, uh, Team Four Star, uh, right? Uh, what do you call it? Four Star? Yeah, Team, team four, four Star. star yeah. Team Four Star, yeah. yeah. There is. They're, they're, they're pretty much... They all got together because obviously they love Dragon Ball Z, but they're all really good voice actors and very heavily like into it <laughs> um you know what i mean like when you listen to them talk like podcast wise they know like you know who like they know the names of all like you know very well known like voice casters and stuff like that so it's something they are really heavily into Like once you let the the mod pod set, that next coat just takes to it. Like, all right. Anyway, I'm gonna head off, guys. All right, bud. Take it easy, man. Good chatting. I'll talk yeah, to you later. All right, dude. Take it as always. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Right in time. Oh my god. Oh god, it's dip. <laughs> That's from Who Frame Roger Rabbit for anybody wondering. Hi, all you cool cats and kittens. This is Carol Baskin. Okay, I can't fight that. I feel like. What can't you do? Uh, the brutes. I. You have to have a special stance to fight that. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah, I do not have that stance. I'm just not going to fight them anymore. I'm just going to run over here. I'm an old man. I ain't got what it takes anymore. Oh, Terry. Terry Elias Funk. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Get over here, buddy. Hey, pal. <laughs> he's gonna... He's gonna puke. Oh, I, the reason why I couldn't fuck him up is because I didn't have the tune break. So... Ah, look at you figuring shit out like a grown-up. He uh he tells Sam he's like, hey, I want to see that picture unedited. I guess you posted a picture today. And she's like, go to my OnlyFans, right? And he's like, I'm trying to holler at you. I ain't one of those weirdos. Hey, you know, I got a girlfriend. Motherfucker, you ain't getting none of that shit for free. And if she does, I'll never speak to her again. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna judge, but okay. giving that shit away for free. That motherfucker got Mike pay. Donovan's the first. The really, you know, the serious shot. I don't know. That we know of. I mean, you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take, yeah. right? So. I guess good for him. <laughs> good for him is in order. Congratulations. Congratulations, you played yourself. Here we go. It's like nothing seems to work on this. There we go. Like I said, guys, tomorrow when I go live, all this will be repainted and... The second code will be. Oh, I love 
phone by work and things like that. Yeah. It'll uh, be painted a second time and then be done. And I'll move on to something new. But thank you for hanging out and watching me while I do this. I appreciate it. Bounty hunting is a very complicated profession, wouldn't you agree? Maybe not. How many more of these guys are there? Oh shit. Maybe you don't like agree. Variants? Maybe because you're not a real bounty hunter. You son of a bitch dog, the bounty hunter. Ha <laughs> ha. That's right, folks. In 2006, Dog the Bounty Hunter had Ozzy Osbourne sing the theme song to his movie fucking TV show. I still can't believe that after all these years. I am the dog, the big bad dog. The bounty hunter. I am the dog. <laughs> The bounty hunter. <laughs> I'm Ozzy Osbourne, and I got paid a shit ton of money for this. Look at this. Look at this. You deserve to be. You have no honor, Samurai. You have no honor. I am going to kill you. I have no feeling. What? Speculate. This is just me purely speculating at this point. I'm on. I'm uh, okay. I'm listening. Thing is going to that your character Jin is going to be the first ninja. Ooh, like Ninja Gaiden? Like no, like the 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 guy who basically. Creates the ninja ninjas. order, or whatever. The, the, like the first ninja. The League of Assassins. Yeah. Type shit. Yeah. <gasps> Are you saying that this guy's a Raz Al Ghul? No, I'm saying that uh, your your uncle, the guy who you're trying to rescue, is. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right past it. <laughs> She's a two face, like no, the Batman villain. If that helps you. <laughs> Also, his name is Sakai. You don't know. Am I pronouncing this right? Raz? Raz Al Ghul? Raz Al Ghul is dead. I watched him die. You burned my home down and left me for dead. Consider us even. I see you've taken my, my teachings of theatricality quite literally. You're right. And I'm not going to kill you. But I don't have to save you. <gasps> Batman, dun dun dun. And he went in occupants. <laughs> what makes you different from us? I'm not wearing occupants, dipshit. Oh. <laughs> Fuck us, right? We're just trying to fight crime too, man. Four shots of Jaeger to kill up. <laughs> Bong hit. Snoops upside the head. So it's snoops upside the head. Hey. Just trying to. Oh, parried and I'm. Trying to get this all painted on nicely. Just trying to get it all painted on nicely. Kill the Mongol reader. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Uh, There's no such things as, as mistakes. Oh, there. 
only happy accidents. There is no such things as mistakes, only happy accidents. Happy, happy, happy. I'm gonna put a little happy tree there or something. Put a little happy tree there. That tree is happy and it's gonna live there. But this is your world and you just create and create as, as you wish. Oh shit. It's like annoying. Like it, it doesn't look like it's adhering, but it is. Surprise, motherfucker! Some fries, motherfucker! Thick thighs, motherfucker! Survive and must be then to die. Okay, don't have a clear line of sight to fucking do the assassination. Oh, so you gotta do assassinations, huh? There are confirmed. So, what is this Assassin's Creed J J uh, Feudal Japan? Or? Yeah, it's very, very similar. Assassin's Creed Red Dead. That kind of. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. I see you received my invitation. I, it's it's Assassin's Creed with a more coherent. Oh, okay. Okay, down this ladder. Whoa, that's. What? Oh, there you go. That's why. Hi. <laughs> Was that your pops talking about Mad Men before? Yes. <laughs> like I said, he's watching Mad Men. What is this like? His first run through of it? First, yeah, first time. Is he a fan of what? Ah, uh, he likes it. Yeah. Like I told them you should watch Dewey Cox. I was watching that right now. <laughs> oh, that's a bear. Nope, I can't stop to smell the roses because I have no fucking sense of smell. No sense of smell. Bear, attack him, bear. Bear fight. That bear. I don't want to fight a bear. <laughs> Listen, Ron. I am sorry, but God does not want her to live. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Ow! Such a pickle! <laughs> do I go and do the story that will make me a star? Or jump into the bear pit to save a woman that I used to have relations with. Ugh, this is so hard. Why did he was such a kunai? I'm in such a pickle. Ron, I hate to be cold, but God does not want her to live. <laughs> I immediately regret this decision. The bears look much smaller from up there. <laughs> oh my god, you woke the bears. Why would you do that? He really loves that dog. I love you, Baxter. I'm gonna kiss you right out of the mouth. I don't care. Stacy, come here. Hi everyone, I'm Veronica Cordingstone. And Tits McGee's got the night off. Tits McGee's on vacation. Uh, hello everybody, I'm Tits, I mean, 
<clears throat> I'm Ron Burgundy. Here's your host, with six time Emmy winner. Me up. Ron Burgundy and Tits McGee. Dan, dan, dan. Oh shit. Gotham has been suffering for years and now must deserve to die. That's when Batman begins when he first meets Rash. Rash. Raz. Am I saying that right? Raz. Raz Al Ghul. You're not Raz Al Ghul. I watched him die. You still never learn to mind your surroundings, boy. I am Liam Neeson. I possess a particular set of skills. And make me a nightmare for Batman like you. <laughs> you don't even know. Taken was after he was Rosso. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because he, like, re-burst onto the scene with that movie. It was like, right, like oh, yeah, Liam Neeson's a fucking bad. Yeah, because, right, he did, he did, uh, he did the first, he did the first episode one. He was Qui-Gon. Yes. And then after that. Yeah, he disappeared for a little bit after. Yeah, and then after that, he shows back I up. Think, uh, and that was his wife. Went. Yeah, and then he's Raz Al Ghul. Rasha. And then once she died, she, he went back to, uh, yeah. my legend grows. <laughs> People still remember me, you know. I am now the unyielding wind. I am Liam Neeson. <gasps> dun dun dun! I am Schindler. This is my list. Imagine if Schindler's list was about his grocery list. God damn it! The brush came right off. Came right off. Look at us. Time is it? Twelve twenty-four. This is a perfect timing. How many? Oh, look at that. It is twelve thirty. Well, twenty-four minutes after twelve. I've been on the stream for three hours, almost three hours. This is gonna be right here. I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna finish this. Uh, this bit. As you can see, I'm taking the long brush strokes because I just want the brush. I want the paint to follow one. I wanted to follow one long brush, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. Oh, yeah. I'll have more lights tomorrow, guys. I know it's kind of dark in this little corner, but... you get more lights? Not really, but if people like... Lights, well, you'll set up more lights. Just, yeah, just a couple of lights over this thing, just so... When I'm crafting, you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm going to set the camera up in a better spot, too. Actually, I'll just go like this with it. Can I... You can see. Yes, I can. Why am I traveling? I can fast travel, but... Just like I said, I knew I could do that. Yeah. Just... Filling in the... The foam part. And... Yeah, because I want to... I want to go in that way. Like I said, the second coat. I'm going to give it a full 24 hours to dry. And then I will add uh, the black Mod Podge to make it all dark. And then I'm going to spray paint the fucker silver. And then paint it black. Layers, bitches. Layers. <laughs> You don't even know. You have no honor. You know me, Rokosaki. We met many moons ago in the home of my master, Amato Yoshi. 
Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. You. Now I will finish what I began with your ear. <laughs> That's Shredder. The Shred dude, man. I can throw this fucking brush out because this brush sucks. Yeah. Alright, folks. Okay, I gotta let it dry now, so. Whoopsie. There we have it. Uh. This one. Where are you oh. taking me, bitch? <laughs> Where are you taking me, bitch? This one should be dry. This is the first one I did. As you can see. Well, I guess up pretty much it, too. It's got yeah. a little bit of a... Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll switch cameras. Hold on. Yeah, I'll switch cameras. Camera 5. See, it's all dirty. But... Um... I still got another code I have to add. But you see how it's like... She, she, it shouldn't adhere now right to it. But this is what I was what I was worried about, and it did exactly what I thought it was gonna do. It filled in on the foam, so I'm happy about that. See, as you can see, these little I don't know if you can see the little holes on the platforms. That's where the railings are gonna go. I already have the railings. I just gotta paint them. But this is one pretty much dry. Hot pot dries pretty quickly. So like, if if you have multiple pieces, by the time you get back to the first piece. It should be dry and ready to for another coat, but I'm going to give it a full 24 hours before I fuck with it, because when you put Mod Podge on top of Mod Podge, it tends to pull the first layer off. So, uh, I'm going to let you guys watch Brandon while I clean up, and uh, I'll be right back. Get these messages. Just right back. enjoy the cool, the cool sounds of Brandon Gold. Hey. While he walks you through this lovely break. Hey there, cats and kittens. Uh, yes. Sharper than ever. Oh, you get new steel, looks like. I'll be right back. All right, I'll be here. I am, uh, gonna find people that are some shit. Nakamaga ジン、手を打たないと仲間がやられちまう。おじごも捕らわれのままだぞ。場所は平手取れての近くだ。よし、分かった。作業を考えてみよう。スターティング。アイアンホック。<笑> ヘシタはなぜ捕まった
長尾家の刀比べそれがどうかしたのかてるか今日も武家の連中が刀比べを見に来てたんだそれなのにお前は本気で撃ってきて腕が折れかけたぞすまん初の試合であったゆえつい浮かれてしまったのだそうだろうさあの刀比べで地頭様の老い子に皆会いたがったそんなつもりはない生まれのいいお前と違って俺はあの刀比べで腕前を見せてどこかの武家の老頭になろうと狙ってたんだ俺のところに来れば話を通してやったものをお前に頭を下げろって嫌だね俺は一人でどうにかしたかったなぜ早く言わなかったなんでだろうな出世したなどうしたお前より名が知れて不満か<笑> Sit down. Kunai for no reason. Hiro to Shinzo wa. また手下を救うなら、この数で十分。戦や病や飢えで死んだ奴はいても逃げる奴など弱いのだ。お前に非はない。他に逃げたいものは。時期暗くなる。出発はできそうか手立ては道中で話そう、うん、よしてめえろ行くぞ、うん砂を出すのはお前の役だろう。うん。砦に入る道は一つだが守りが堅い。忍び込まねばならぬだろう。崖の見張りが手薄だ。崖を登り壁を越えよう。何？お前は猿か？やくだつ兵具がある。手下は任
How do you? Oh, Pretty cool. I'm starting to like it too. That's pretty fucked. Yeah. Oh, I gotta go all the way back. I am back. Hi. I got the I'm using the grappling hook now. Ooh, what does that mean? I got a grappling hook. Watch, look, see, watch. No, watch my stream. Shut out. I'm What's watching happens? it right now, but I'm about to fire this game up myself. Do you believe that fucking thing just shipped? What just shipped? That fucking splitter. <laughs> I actually can, yes, because, you know. Pandemic if you get a chance, take a look at my take a look at our stream. I I made a little graphic now that I could key on with the uh with the switcher. I have it on. Whoa! Well, that see, fucking see, killed me. See the little That's red true. graphic now? It hasn't come up yet. Hold on, it hasn't come up. I don't see it on. Yeah, I see it. Ooh, you so see it? fancy. It's nice, right? Look at that. And it fades right off. There you go. I'm gonna. Key it on every now and again. Every now and again. Every now and again, I key that motherfucker on. I, I can't believe I haven't, no! I haven't even played this game, so I'm thinking about just waiting for the switcher now that it's sent, but. Uh, might as well. Yeah, might as well to stream it, in other words, you know? I'm not gonna. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna um, do that, you know? Now it's getting, now is where it gets going to get a little tougher, I could think, because I have this grappling hook, so I have to, the ways across are not going to be easy. So, like, jumping, double, the double tap, not a single tap. <laughs> uh, taco, where, where, oh, oh, oh. You know what made me feel old recently? Wow. Was, um... How old the League is, the show? I couldn't believe it. Yeah, it is for real. Yeah, and how, like... Like, I'm trying to remember back... Well, the first Comic-Con we went to was 2012? 2011, right? 2011, yeah, it was the last, it was the last year of uh, MBW. Yeah. Isn't that, crazy? Yeah, that's right. Isn't that crazy to think, man? That's, that's right around the time that show came out. Yeah, because I remember... Uh, um... This would have been our 10th comp, well... Uh, 9th Comic Con. Yeah, had their, you know... Yeah, they, already, they already canceled New York Comic Con, right? I don't think they've officially canceled it, because I think there's a certain time for uh, insurance purposes. Like, yeah. like can't cancel it before a certain date. Okay. And if they do, by if they cancel it by that time, they would get their full, full insurance payment.
I want to thank everybody for coming and hanging out while I was painting. I'm letting the paint dry now. Being crafty. So I'm taking a break. Uh, making a bat cave diorama. Uh, making some pieces and stuff. Manny's going to help me. Uh, Manny came on before. He's going to help me with it. So we're chatting with Brandon while he was playing Ghost of uh, Yoshima. Ghost of Yoshima. Mahama, it's fright night. How does one get away with doing these um watch parties on Facebook without get without getting busted? Audience size probably for one. Okay. They're, they're, I'm, they're I'm, they're no, I'm noticing not. that uh Oh, these what people are, they are they're getting away with, like, uh, one, yesterday was Car Pirates of the Caribbean 1 and 2. And today was something else that was fairly popular. How many people were watching? How many people oh, were watching? Oh, oh that I don't know. Yeah, that I don't know. And That's what I guess. So this, this last week, a buddy of mine did Iron Man and Hulk. The Incredible Hulk. So to me, it's just like, we post... A live stream of a video game and the theme music comes on and WWE shuts me down. This guy's playing full on Marvel movies. Yeah. That's impressive, no, I, you know? For sure it is. I don't get it. I just. I don't get it. It's just so ridiculous. <laughs> Fuck. Putting money that's in that's the wallet. Nine to five. What a way to make a living. Yeah. So, uh, you, uh, do you prefer this way or the the color? Well, uh, um, I mean, I can definitely say the the standard mode does have its advantages. Like, things are a lot clearer to see and clear, like, waypoints and the, the divine wind and shit like that. Like, that's easier to see. But, uh, I, I admire the artistic expression of... I think I'm, you know what? I'm gonna fire it up right now. Yeah, because you only play the, the very, very beginning. Yeah, Ghost of Tsushima. Let's do it. Ghost of Tsushima's. Um, I'm filming that thing this weekend. I don't know if you wanted to come. I just want to be an extra. Oh, so. The pirate thing? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll come down. Uh, just, I, I when, are you, this, when are you going? Uh, Sunday, I think she said. Okay. I got the script and everything. I thought I thought I had much more lines than I do, so I'm much ha I'm very happy about that. I'm very happy that I don't have that many. I mean, I'll just like I said, I'll just come to help out. Uh, she needs me, she doesn't need me. Yeah. I bought boots for this. You believe this? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not like my own wardrobe. Eh. <laughs> I, 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 I did it. I did it for her. Well, because you know what it is? She sent me a, a, a message and she said, Hey, um, do you happen to have black pants and boots? And I know I have pants because I, I got them for Kevin for Rancor. And I, and I, I got brown and black, like, like, period, like the pants that would match that period or whatever. Yeah. So I said to her, I was like, yeah, I got it. And I got pants. I was like, I don't know about boots. And I was I just happened to be online. I saw a pair of boots. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. And I just sent to her, I was like, I'm going to buy these anyway for... for would these work? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, all right, I'll get them. And then she was like, oh, thank you so much. I was like, yeah, man. 
I want to steal. I want to steal the movie. I want to. I want to be like the best part of that fucking. Oh, that was an explosive. That just rocked my whole shit. Now they have exploding arrows. Shit. Playing Ghost of Chuchimas in fucking full HDR. Yeah, I came home from work. I was like, you know what? I'm getting my disability check tomorrow. Fuck it. I'm gonna buy this game now. And I just got it. I I would have bought uh, something else today, but uh, I didn't get my. There, I guess I was up. I'm updating the system. Oh, sure. This guy. It's this guy's got shit. Uh -huh. Um, okay. There's an update to the New York State unemployment system. Mm -hmm. At that time. Oh, fuck off. This guy's gonna kill me. Fuck! This fucking guy, too. God damn it, Leroy. Dude, like, watching this shit, it just reminds me of Shadow of War. Like, you're fighting orcs. Like, an army of orcs. And you're just like, yeah. I mean, it's very similar to game. Yeah, right. Like Shadow of or Shadow of et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Es, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, shit. Here it comes. Change audio output. Home theater. Bookshelf speakers, built in TV speakers, soundbar, night mode, headphones. Ooh, it's, what's this 3D audio? Hmm. Yeah. So, that means so. I, I haven't set the soundbar. For players who just want to experience the so story and explore. For players who want well rounded gameplay experience with a moderate challenge. Tony's playing it on easy. Tony doesn't want to scream. English dialogue, subtitled English dialogue with English, Japanese, Kurosawa mode. Samurai Simina. Nah, Tony's just gonna play it normal. We don't want to need all that crap. I don't need that experience, people. Samurai, the Samurai Cinema experience. Japanese subtitles. What happened? Or Japanese language with English subtitles. I apologize ahead of time for everybody hearing this audio, but I want to hear it. Why didn't I think of that sooner? Well, I had a, I had a sticky bomb. Oh. Very silly of me. I'm trying to find these dudes. Where are these dudes at? I also like how when you like take all the resources and stuff like that, uh, they just disappear. We are the warriors. Of Tsushima. <laughs> what does that mean, dude? This. That is the most satisfying kill. This game looks. I mean, I'm only two seconds in. Holy shit, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Wow. I wish you would play I wish you would play as the Mon the Mongols though. Send 
Was that Attila the Hun? Mm-hmm. Well, Attila was a Hun. They're completely different. Oh, okay. Uh, Who is this? Genghis Khan. Is, that's Genghis Khan. Is a, is a cousin of Genghis Khan, or a grandson of... Oh. He is the cousin of Kublai Khan, who took over after Genghis died. This guy literally threw his wine at him, set him on fire, and cut his head off. It wasn't wine. He... Oh. It was oil. Oh, okay. He brought oil. <laughs> so if I wasn't drinking it. I thought it was just a cup Great. of wine he was walking off the ship with, and he just threw it on him. Like, I'm not in fucking... Get the fuck out of here. Like, psh. Then he's like, let me see if this works. And he threw the fire on him. He's like, you son of a bitch! Oh, shit. This, this starts right out, huh? How do you, uh, fight? Good job, sir. Dear, dear. Finish go off. Roya, Soya. Oh, shit. My horse just got hit by fire. Is that supposed to happen? One of the things I think of the Mongols, uh, sank advantage over them. The nations that they invaded, just they had advanced military technology like fire and flaming weapons, cavalry. So, what I don't understand is, is where did Genghis Khan? I thought Genghis Khan was in Japan, no? Genghis Khan was dead by this point in time. He never actually got to Japan. The Mongols never got to Japan. Mainland Japan, or like. To, like, they did every place else they invaded. They sent the fleet to the Japanese archipelago, but there was uh, a storm, and the storm wiped out most of the fleet, so that the warriors that were able to land weren't supported as many as they needed, and a small detachment of samurai was able to defeat them. And then the Mongols never came over because it was just like, oh shit, everything. That was the one place we didn't fucking conquer. Japan. Maybe. <clears throat> so they were from Japan though, that's what I'm saying. Or no, no, the Mongols were from, the Mongols were from northern, like, northern parts of like China. Mong oh, okay. So that's what I'm asking. Where were they from? They took over most of the known world. Yeah. Except for Japan. Why, though? I don't understand. Why? Yeah, like, weren't they, like, right there? <laughs> I mean, because they were trying to conquer the world, that's why. Oh, uh, so they're like, we didn't even look right here. You know, like, we could have just taken this place over first. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't. Oh, uh, yeah. That's pretty sick, though. And then when they tried, a bunch of them died, and they never fucking try it again. Oh, and so it's just like, fuck it. Always, Let's just quit. Okay. The Japanese were always just like, oh, this is proof of our... I like, repaired them. Like, what? This is sick right now, dude. Run right next to my homeboy with the horns. I'm ready, Uncle. We are in this together. God damn it. It's this guy's fucking. He keeps one attack, he fucks me up. Are you fighting Attila the Hun? Or, or his knight, grandson, or whatever his name is? Looks like it. He's got the same sword or axe, whatever. I don't have a full bar of resolve to fucking. He's the only one that's left. God damn it. You need resolve? Is that what it is? Yeah, resolve is what you use to heal yourself and perform specialized attacks. How do you get resolve? By killing people. Ah, uh, just like Shadow War. And obviously, I'm not dead. <laughs> it's the last fucking battle. There's like four guys. Yeah. I yeah. like that you're in that riding outfit. 
The Raymond? Yeah. Right? You're wearing no armor, essentially. You just look like fucking... Yeah. Oh, fuck one. Can you fucking do what I want you to do? See, I would want to wear this mongrel armor. You're unaware of what? I said I want to wear that armor. The, mon oh. the mongrel armor. The mongrel, the mongrel, mongrel armor. I mean, that's... They had basic metal work. Like, and they adapted most of, like, the ones they conquered. Yeah, he's the g g grandson of Genghis, you're right. They got all their iconography and stuff like that. <laughs> 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 Oh, his sword's nice. Your, your uncle's sword? No, it's your, your sword is your family sword. Your father was a lord like the... I know, but he just picked uh, up your uncle's sword. Your uncle's sword was sick. Down, bro. He was just like, fucking get out of my face. You pushed. Uh, 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 go near you, damn new. Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, good times, great memories, right, bud? For sure. I thought the bear would, like, go to attack them. That is not what's happening at all. This is not Far Cry. <laughs> When you release a wild animal, they don't go attack you. How do you survive all this? You got two arrows in your back. The guy tosses you off the bridge like a like a yeah. Like yesterday. I mean, you went in water. Still, dude, you got nothing left. The guy who just got like, arrows and all beat up. Go attack something, bear. Go, bear, go. There you go. Slowly but surely, make your way over to the. Over to that. No, bear. Don't. Damn it, bear. Bear's stupid. Hoping the bear will at least take out. Or at least provide a distraction. Oh, this is annoying. You gotta sneak. There we go. Come. Bear. Bear. King Bear. Yes. The man pointed Baxter. <laughs> I, I un. I un. And I had to, like, I lured him out. How did you sneak past these motherfuckers? It took out, like, three of them. How the fuck do you sneak past all these guys? Fucking bear took out three of them. That's so helpful. Oh, this is rough. 
off. I don't know how to search for your katana. Do not raise the alarm. Charge out into a standoff. Why not? Why not? Yeah, why not? Wait until the charging enemy swings their weapon. <laughs> no! Beautiful. I mean, at least that's still my fucking priority. They still fuck me up, though. Search the house for your katana. Leave the house and Not continue your search. Not well, but... Like one hit, the fucking brute fuck me up. I'm down. Man, I'm dodging. Trouble with the big big fella. I'm dead with the last one, and I'm done to like. No zombie. Dude, how many fucking times you gotta strike this guy with your sword? Fuck! Oh, I had him. How many times you gotta strike that fucker with your sword before he gets down? You're gonna have to hit that guy. Finally! With I got the wind stance now. I love the slow motion. Now I can take on fucking... Highly effective against spears and... Ac what is? Uh, stance. So in a lot of the combat is rock, paper. You use one stance against... Swordsman. Uh, one stance against guys with a shield. One sense of guys, guys that have like pole arms, spear, axes, that kind of stuff. Oh, interesting. And then look. What did you say? I said interesting. I'm looking at the screen. Yeah, and then the last one is the moon stance. Which... It's like, all right, that's the one. What's that last Thank stance? <clears throat> the, moon, the moon stance. Oh, what's that mean? It's just, that's what it's called. In stance. I'm interested to see what that's all about. I don't, I don't know why they call it that. It's just... Mmm, girl, you don't even know. Why are you gonna lose this some fucking random dude at the... ...and better now. I will not watch you throw your life away. I'm all fucked up. Oh, 
do I have to do? Follow Yuna to recover your sword. Follow Juna to recover your sword. Oh, fuck, wait, fuck, wait, 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 fuck. And he's gonna fucking unblockable fucking attack. Hey. just killing people, dude. Oh, cool, 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 they broke out. They're helping me. That's super effective, thank you guys. Not a good thing. Right, that's a good thing. They're helping you. Yeah, it's good. They're gonna help me. Uh, so I have a little bit of, you know. They're helping you get through. Techniques. Stances. What are attacks I need? Triangle three times. Spear breaker. Hold for typhoon kick. Okay. Is this chick in the beginning of the game? Is she, is she like always going to help you, or she's one of the people that you help, bro. like uh, or help that helps you? Oh. I would. Oh. You piece of shit. Oh, this guy is definitely going to create the ninjas. You're definitely right. Yeah, just, I can just... <clears throat> yeah. I get this strong feeling. Yeah. If you're already changing history, right? What are the supplies to? Yep. Supplies are just like your materials that you have. You can make like armor and shit, what I guess? Yeah, it's like make your armor and so and your weapon. This has the bear in it. This is it. Camera's a little fucking wonky. There's kind of fucking them up. Oh, there's fucking them up too. Yes. Okay, now where's the fucking signal? And the signal is... I got my sword back. It's got the little fast forward buttons on it. It's the symbol of Clan Sakai. Who helped create... Whose descendants later in 1200 years... I am no coward! You're on, you're on the flashbacks. The first one, yeah. I got my, I got my sword back. Yo, Brandon, I got my sword back. I got my sword back. I don't know if you knew this, but I got my sword back. Can't stand more calling that. Philadelphia people call it swords. Swinging swords. <laughs> double. I double, baby. 
Yeah, this is when you gotta play that dumbass fucking, uh... Yeah. How do you block? Can you hold a wonky to Attack, quick attack, heavy attack, stab attack. Well done, you fought well, boy. Do you think this is going to be game of the year? No, yes, maybe so. There's one thing that this game has a lot. It's great. Fill in my eyes. Said the Mongols didn't hurt them, they fed them too. I see how this works. They want you in a constant state of motion, essentially. Back to Komatsu 4! I ain't traveling. Anybody got time for that? Anybody got time for that? Anybody got time for that? Anybody got time? Anybody got time? Anybody got time for that? You gotta be a, in a constant state of motion in this game, it seems as though, huh? Pretty much, yeah. If, especially when you're fighting more than one enemy, yes. When you're fighting one on one, you could, like, and still.
Bitch, I won. Fuck you. I need 15 more linen to upgrade my arm. You look so cool in your samurai armor. I know. I, I prefer it. Yeah. What is that stuff you can buy or stuff you already have? Yeah, no, it's cosmetic stuff. Yeah, okay. I'm keeping like with this armor. I like how the armor looks sick. Uh, reduces all damage. Moderate increase to health. Taking damage gives me a result. Okay. Good job. That's what was that? Oh, I can't upgrade my can't upgrade my Tonto. God damn it! I have my sword. As long as I have my sword, I am a warrior. I am a warrior. Oh shit! Oh boy! The next day at Castle Connor. Should be able to take that sphere. I need to find my horse. Your horse is dead, there. You son of a bitch. This camera kind of gets away from me. I don't like it. I wish there was a way you can just center the camera. Mm, they must deserve to. Oh shit! This guy just doesn't even point. Okay. <laughs> Several hours later. That's good they don't have like make me needlessly travel back to this point. Start back out here. Hey, auto shout to fucking viewers. Tax Pyrex. Oh, I got a viewer that dropped from huh. Viewer Storm. Nice, That's Viewer Storm. Thanks, Viewer Storm. Much appreciated, bro. Appreciate it. The Shadow of the Samurai. Help whoever is in trouble. Okay. You gotta help whoever is in trouble. That's cool. I do want to speak with my allies. Gia, Gia, shoot it, do it. Taste my blade! You have no honor, boy! Oh wow, I just broke that guy's attack and then just drilled my sword in him. Whoa, that guy couldn't even handle my sword of justice. At some point in time, you could set the sword on fire. Attack. Let's go. I like how his shoulder belt is just a flat fucking like Venetian blind. 
just taped, or mm -hmm. tied up. I mean, there, the samurai armor was like essentially wicker. Yeah. It looks like a wicker. It looks like wicker furniture that they just like broke apart and tied <laughs> on. Strong. <laughs> and like again, it was made to stop arrows, not like edged weapons. Yeah. Sword of Justice. Oh, come on, Tom. You need to know better than that, bro. Or a ghost. A ghost of... Nishima. Oh, I'm about to pick my motherfucking horse, yo. I'm about to pick my motherfucking horse, yo. Which horse are you gonna go with? Well, you find out. Yeah. I mean, I think if you the the black horse and calling him cock. Yeah, this is that last one, right? This black horse will be your horse throughout the entire journey. This dapple horse will be. You know what? I always go with the black horse. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix it up. Nobu, trust. Shit. I just ran out of time, bro. My horsey. I was recording uh, the opening sequence on my online. I didn't know that you're not in control the entire time. Or, like, there's a certain point in time where you take control of the character. Like, you're just. You're basically just playing the beginning. Of and then, like, when you're getting. When you go into that clearing, that's. And I didn't realize it, and the horse kind of stopped. Hmm. You got to take over. Yeah. Uh, but I, wanted, I was too busy, like, staring at the... Ah, uh, huh. Taking in the landscape or whatever. Yeah. Imagine if this game was ten minutes long. Like you just play this, and then he kills the the grandson. Kills. <laughs> you know you can't you can't kill the con. Yeah, That's when you do that thing, right? To a standoff, yeah. Standoffs. When approaching enemy territory, you can challenge foes to a standoff. Once your enemy approaches, hold triangle. Soon as they. As soon as they attack, release triangle to defeat them in one deadly strike. Oh shit. I've come for Lord Shimura. Hold triangle. Nice plan, bro. That's how we do it. That's how we do it in fucking Ushikuru, Japan. Ushikuru. Oh, I didn't shit. realize like, I was sleeping now, he's dead. Oh, I just stabbed that guy right in the chest. Oh, that was sick. Mongrels fired them over the beach. Were they bombs? That bitch? I couldn't hear you over all the bleeding. Oh, fucking. There's, not, there's just something about driving a sword into somebody's fucking gullet. They just. 
Yeah, no, it's it's so it's satisfying. satisfying. It's just so satisfying to watch them bleed out all over the floor. Come on, motherfucks. Strong strike. Oh shit. I'm a samurai. I must defend my family's honor. Look at the big guy. Look at the big guy. My brain's dead, man. Ushikuru. I'm from Ishikuru, Japan. Osaka Tanaka Fanaka. Wait till I separate, wait till I separate, wait till I separate. Pan flute. Wong. Myself. Dodging arrows. Before firing arrows, Mongol well, we'll arrows. I need to do a serpentine. Out. That's kind of my strategy. Somebody came on Facebook or on Twitch for you? No, no, partner. The homeboy partner gave me, came through and gave me the raid. Appreciate you. Thanks, Thank everybody. You you. Oh, shit. All right. Here we go. I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm about to complete. I'm still feeling good. So, just, you know, let it roll. I appreciate you. T3 gang sticks together. Thank you, Santa Stain. Appreciate it. Thank you for that fuck. Welcome to the shit show. This guy sees me. Oh. oh okay, I didn't have the race. Not with you. Oh, that water. That fucking shield stance. I mean, that fucking spear stance. Really comes in handy. Oh shit. Oh, big guy. I can't believe it. Oh my god, yo. Congratulations, man. That's awesome. First, this is your first place on your own. Bro, I appreciate it. Luck tomorrow. Just picking up the keys, you're not actually... That's a... That must be weird. On Wednesday. Whatever day it is. But, congratulations, bro. Uh, everybody else, thank you for 
staying, thanks. Oh, come on. Oh, God, I gotta move you near the bridge. I'm on the bridge, yeah. He's pretty sick, though, this guy. <laughs> He's just like, so he like, you can't hit him. <laughs> like, you can't hit him. Because I was dodging his attacks and swinging on him, and he was still, like, just blocking him. The second time, I was able to beat my uncle in the duel. Because I knew, pretty much knew, like, the patterns. Oh, I beat him already. Okay, yeah. Well, no, the first time, I did not. Oh, yeah, I beat him the first time. But I'm just I'm saying, I was fight, I'm fighting uh, the grandson of Khan, and, and he, uh... Yeah, you know, no, you even can't when you, Even when you dodge, he blocks. Yeah, and his attacks... You, yeah, you can't not block him. It's basically his survive for... Uh, you, went, you just went dark, bro. I guess this is when you see your father die. Yes. I just got to get in the eye! Holy shit! Dad's armor was pretty good. Even with, with that super kick, I think at some point in time you get that. Time for a walk, Grandma. as far as the last time. Yeah, you landed right in the water. That's why. Ooh, where's the bird? There's gotta be a way to grab. Like there's a good fish, so there's got to be another way around. Yeah, there. Oh. Because now you're just jumping up there like fucking Ezio. Whoa! It's a little bootleg Batman. Yeah. I think it's more like Prince of Persia. Assassin's Creed. For sure. Whoa! Uh-huh. 
And here we go. There's a lot more guards ahead. I kind of alerted the entire base. Hmm. My mistake. No. <laughs> Follow the damn wind, boy. Dude, it's like every single blade of grass. It's crazy. I know. It's beautiful. Yeah, no, it looks really good. I'm getting this fucking fire alley with fucking... He threw me off the fucking bridge like a jerk. <laughs> Woo! Kill or absorb 11 more guys to go until I get the day. Heal. And then suffer you. You know the pickups? He should. Fuck faces are there. E water, my friend. That guy's got a flaming something. So your uncle's a Mongol now, huh? I mean, he's just a, a captive. Oh, okay. Like, they kept them, they held him captive because they were hoping to break his resolve. Like, they tell the people not to resist anymore. The Mongols were like, die in combat as a warrior's death. And resources and expand territory. They would much rather, obviously, prefer not to fight. Yeah. But, you know, hey, if it came to that. Well, they really put a lot of effort into those sweat beads. They want you to see that shit. Yeah, oh, you yeah, know. I like how he's the only one who sweats, too, because the chick you're talking to, she never sweats, apparently. Um, no, you see Jin sweat and the uncle. That's it. Nobody else. The girl he's talking to is not sweating. Why is he the I only one that's hot? Oh, what was happening? You knew it. Who the hell is that? The guy, the trail hat samurai nurse. Who was like your friend growing up. But, like he defeated him in a duel, so that like changed his whole life. Oh. Um, he he confronts you when you get to the castle. Uh, anybody could claim him. Oh. 
answer. I don't feel like this guy, I know it. <laughs> well, it's dual like before, I don't have to actually fight him. I see this shit looks awesome in color. He's such a fucking epic. Sucker Punch presents. Oh no, I have to fight him. Double attack, okay. As your legend grows, you will learn powerful new techniques. God damn, that would fucking fuck me up. Got self. That's not three quarters of the way down. Oh, we were both going for the same strike at the same time. Ah. Not where I want to roll. Yes. What the hell is this? Son of a bitch. What? Wow. He fucking essentially just betrays you. He always betrays you. Alright, bro, thanks. Thanks for coming through. Thanks for that follow. Appreciate it. I'll hit you with that follow back. And, uh, thanks for coming around. Stick around. You're cool with Potter, you're cool with me. Oh. oh. Fucking two brutes, fuck off.
I was fucking that dude up. How did I not hit him? Oh shit, you can do multiple fucking standoffs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I can... One of the skills you get for up... I'm going to upgrade your legend. You upgrade certain skills. Okay. And that was the second one I did. First one I did was kind of like... The... Oh shit. But it is... The only... I think the only practical way... Where is the stairs? Where is he? That's fucking awesome. Clip that shit. The top floor. I do that. Oh, yeah, I thought I could make that jump. I guess not. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, well, hello, Mongolians. Oh, that's sick. I like how you can just mount a little. I like how you can, like, I finally got the assassination where I could stab them. In the eye, you said? Because you broke out. Well, you can stab them through the window. The assassination. Oh, that's sick, okay. Like, so then they're, like, on the other side of the window. Yeah. I got my own card now. I mean, he's, you know, that's how I had to do it, too. I didn't have this. is isn't all that fancy. Uh, for several years, I've been doing on and off. God, I don't know how long. A year, at least. I didn't really start taking streaming seriously. 2018, though, so... If you want to make your own content, you're the only one. The only the only one that can stop you is you. Only you could prevent forest fires. All right, I think it's done. Cool. Okay, no, we gotta. Of Tachimas. Right. 
But <laughs> super kick. Super kick. <laughs> I'm just speaking, everybody. I'm just speaking, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to be friendly with everyone. I gotta do it, man. So I just figured it out, put one on one. The old lady that you helped out is the wife of the guy who gets killed. Again, like the, the guy who gets set on fire in his head. Oh. Uh, Lord Sakai. God damn it. Yeah. Well, you got your uncle back, huh? Yeah. Well. Fucking finally. End of Act One. Two days, several days later. So he's back at your end. Oh. He's gonna set this guy on fire. Seems to be his general MO. Wow. Wow. Wait, he set that guy on fire? No. What he's do what the con is doing is making a samurai guy who betrays you. Feed his men. And he doesn't. And you're actually seeing him set this guy on fire. But actually, no, no, they took it off. <laughs> Ooh. 
the, the, the Ronin guy kind of looks like Hideki Matsui. Hideki <laughs> Matsui. Uh, actually, a cross between Matsui and Sh Oh, wow. And, yep, yep. You see his dead, dead body. Yep. Nope, he's going to burn the other guy. Yep. Yep, that's the thing that's happening. <laughs> Who did he burn? He just burned like a random. Oh, okay. Oh, so now, now, now you're now you're a member of the army. He basically said. Yeah. Well, he's, he's gonna give him your. They made a bargain. Then, help me. I'll give you food. He helped him. Like, you know, well, turns out I'm in. She's in it to win it. I like how the wind guides you. I'm going to say that like 13 times. That is pretty cool, man. Ushikuru. The summer wind came blowing in. Yeah, thanks, bro. Thanks. Ask of me, grandfather. Ooh, what do you use bamboo for? Armor? What did you say? What do you use bamboo for? Armor? Uh, the sword upgrade. Okay, good. Nice. Anytime you see any sort of I just broke material, bamboo. call it. Yeah, yeah I, just broke. It. I just broke it. You will, uh, you will need it for something. Okay. Because some of the upgrades are like, you need 150 of this. Thousand. Thousand gold to get the final upgrade. Oh, wow. I haven't right. gotten to the part where gold is a, a resource I can obtain, yeah. yet alone obtaining a thousand. Hmm. So you need a thousand gold to get the best armor? Oh, the shit. best sword, the final upgrade for this. Can you kill pigs? Speak with my allies. I almost killed that motherfucker. What else that's in here? I almost killed that pig. Ooh, new resource found. Predator hides. <sighs> Predator. 
predator hides a dangerous animal that can be traded to upgrade the amount of range and quick fire weapons you can carry. Oh shit. Okay. Ushikuru. Ow. Ooh, give me more bamboo. Yeah, Lady Shimmer. Lady Masako. Oh shit. Oh shit. The guy's got a ball on the end of a stick. Oh, with like the uh, mallet? Yeah. Essentially. A long stick with a big fat ball. Can you assassinate people from the roof? What'd you say about assassinating people? Dude. I got the fucking lead of dude. Uh. Oh, he beat me. One shot. I can't heal myself. That sucks. I came off the roof and I hit him, but then he hit me one shot and killed me. I think that's kind of bush bullshit if you ask me. Yeah, the thing is super powerful. Dad's armor. Yeah. Awesome. Alright, 
I got him dead. I gotta ride all the way back to my my home, wherever that is. Awesome. But, yeah. I like how you can steal anybody's horse. Are you wearing his armor? No, I'm got the dude. Horse the horse. Oh, I just got shot off my horse. <laughs> Water stance basically gives you like a super. Mm -hmm. Alright, I've been going for four hours on stream. Holy shit, I just realized that. Yeah, I'm on my protein that too. Oh. I have to get, I have to prepare myself. Um, prepare yourself for what? Prepare myself for these long streams. Uh, yeah, man. Marathon streams! This is how I'm planning to make money. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna cut this one though. So, if you want to keep watching, just go on Twitch on Full Finish and check Brandon out. Yep. Take it easy, guys.